Welcome back to another video. This is my Resident Evil 8 Village, the start of my Platinum walkthrough. I'm going to do a lot of videos for this. I'm going to do a lot of videos, but this is the start of my, perhaps my first Platinum. So I may, I may do a lot of Platinum videos. I may do a Platinum speedrun like a personal best, because you can Platinum this in two playthroughs. But this one you're watching now, it's first of four. And we're going to do, the first one is going to be Casual, a new game. Casual, we're going to do... Uh, speedrun, you don't have to speedrun by the way, watching cutscenes does still trigger the timer to count, it, the timer still ticks down when you're watching cutscenes, pause in the game, open the map, that does pause the timer, but like I say, watching cutscenes doesn't, so if you don't want to do speedrun now, do not worry, you can do speedrun on any of the other playthroughs we do, because I do still do speedrun on that, I just want to try and do it on them all, because it keeps the videos nice and short-ish, as well the video may be a bit longer than speedrun but that's probably if i'm pausing it along the way just to explain something just a bit more detail when it's not quite as much time and i want to pause the timer um yeah so doing speedrun we'll be collecting everything all goats um all files all weapons all attachments most the treasures we'll be doing all outhouses all windows <laughs> i'm just just trying to remember all this quite a lot to remember um so I've got that, got that, got that. Um, yeah, money-wise, we'll probably end this run with about 1.1 million lay, 1.1 million. And CP-wise, that's the currency used in the shop, um, the shop afterwards to buy like infinite ammo and things. We'll get about just over 200,000 of that. So we do get quite a lot here in terms of money and stuff. We'll also be doing no heals. You can, speed run is similar to no heals. Well, no heals is similar to speed run. You can do that in any of the runs. I mean, you don't really want to do a Village of Shadows, but we'll be doing two, we'll be doing this casual run, then we'll be doing another one, and then we'll do Village of Shadows, the hardest difficulty, and then the fourth video will be all the Merc, or the Mercenaries. So yeah, two casuals, one Village of Shadows. You can combine speed run and no heals with any of the others. Um, I'm doing them now. We'll do knife only on the second. That's the next video will be knife only, guys. And Village Shadow will be a third. And like I said, Mercs will be the last. <laughs> Mercs will be the last. Right, so, yeah, I'm doing webcam here, as you can see. But I'm using this mic. It's it's quite, it's quite, a di it's not, I mean, it's about that far away from my mouth. So it might be a bit echoey. I do need to sort of buy an arm so it's closer to my face. Normally when I'm just doing commentary, I normally sat here like this talking into the mic and I can't do that and play. I can't multitask that well. Um, but yeah, apologies for a bit echoey. I don't think it's too bad. So but I want to do a bit webcam with you guys. So new game, casual. Let's do it. Let's do this. So got my list, my baby writing. Make sure you don't miss anything. There's a lot of missable things here, by the way. So please pay attention. I'm going to try and clearly mention things to you. So no, you don't miss anything. Right, um, first cutscene, yeah, of course I'm going to skip them all, just press options. Right, first of all, a uh, little baby. <laughs> no, I did not mean it, Mia. So, first of all, I'm going to come to this fridge, and you can actually get this afterwards, but this note here, that's the first file, guys, on the fridge there. Little memo, yeah, I'm not sure if it's a shopping list, so I didn't really read it, I never read that. But you can actually get that after dropping the baby off, but... If you walk too far to the left, it triggers a cutscene and you miss it. Oh, no, no, baby. Go, go, go. It's fine. Rose is fine. <laughs> Ethan, yes. Pretending it's uh, the scary movie was because of Rose, but it's really Ethan who's too scared to watch it. So in here, watch this yellow ball because we're going to be kicking it in a minute. Place the baby in the pram. But I need to make sure I move quicker. Get me one. That's it. Sleep now. Hush. Hush, baby. Right. Time to score a goal. Yes, straight into there. There we go. Goal. Scored. Onto your laptop. File number two. In the draw. File number three. Yes, kick that yellow ball into that room. If you get it stuck in a corner, which you can do, just press options and restart. So that's three files, guys. Into this room at the back now. And into the storeroom. The bedroom, I guess. And look at that newspaper. That's file number four. File number four out of 47. And down the steps afterwards, I'm really close to my monitor here. That's why I'm like, move my head, looking around. 
So into the kitchen now, we've got all the files in the house. Let's go and have a word with Mia, see what she's cooking. Hope it's not beans on toast again. Right, so a few cutscenes. Bad Chris, eh? Naughty Chris. So another cutscene skip. The phone was ringing. Oh, my little angel. So we're going to spawn now. Yeah, I'm going to be looking down a lot at my notes. So I'll get another file in a second. I'm playing PS4 version, by the way. PS4 version, because after I've done the Platinum, I want to try and... Um, I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. So it's file here. Uh, file number five. Make sure you don't miss file number five. Yeah, so we've just got a long trek through the woods now. Long trek through the woods. Scariest moment in the game. No, I, I don't know. It's It's got its moments. The game has its moments. Um, I can't... Yeah, number seven was scarier than this, definitely. That start a bit in seven when... Um, I don't want to spoil anything if somebody's not played seven. But when that person comes up the stairs and hears that, that is creepy. Especially in VR. Fuck, that's creepy. Um, so I headed through the woods. And I can't remember what I was going to talk about then. Yeah, so just headed, headed through the woods. And um, pretty linear for a few minutes. You're going to be doing this for a few minutes. Uh, yeah, watch out, Bob. Why? Don't cut yourself, Ethan. What did I say? He goes and cuts himself. Um, it's lucky he can heal. Um, with first aid med. First aid medical. Miracle cure in Resident Evil. Yeah, just keep it through the snow. Um, don't eat any yellow snow, of course. That's a good tip there to give. Never eat yellow snow. Tried it once, not very nice. So keep coming. Oh, birdies, what happened to these? Shit. Crows. Yeah, just keep coming through here, don't worry. Whatever killed the crows is no longer lingering. Oh! What is it? That crow was alive. It resurrected itself. The possibility of resurrection in this game. Yeah, the crows can resurrect. So, keep coming through the snow. Wading through the snow. I wish I bought my snowshoes. What was, what was that? It's not a yeti. Don't worry, we'll find out what that was soon. And it wasn't Chris Redfield. Just keep coming along, you'll find a house in a second. And um, yeah, still in here, like I say, a few minutes until we come to another collectible. I'll be telling you what items to collect in that as well, don't worry. Honey, I'm home. I got the milk and bread. Okay, yeah, I don't know he's been living here, but it's not very nice conditions. Right, yeah, okay, let's go into the basement. Yeah, so that's what you do when you go into a deserted house that looks like this. Go straight into the basement. Yeah, Ethan's very brave. Right, open the wardrobe. You have to do this to progress the story, of course. Right, let Jerry out. Go on, Jerry. Tom's come in. Yes, Tom, quick. No, that's probably a Yeti. So, keep coming up the steps. It's a shame we can't skip this bit. Every time I do this... Record a run. I'm gonna to have to show this stupid part of the start of the game, which you can't skip past. So we've got five files so far, and we kick the ball into the bedroom. That'll complete a challenge. Next, we're gonna get an outhouse. Outhouses, by the way, you get you have to get them all in one playthrough. Files, you can sort of get like 46. Excuse me. You can get 46 in one, and then sort of like the last one in another playthrough. But outhouses and windows. They have to all be in the same playthrough, guys. Right, once you're out here, if you press the options button, go into photo mode, and then come back. First trophy, photographer. How easy was that? That's the most difficult trophy in the game. No, I'm lying. There's quite some difficult trophies in this, actually. Village of Shadows, the hardest difficulty. It's, um, well, the village. We're here. Oh, another crow. The one that got away did join his friends in that massacre we walked past. Yes, um... The trophies, yeah, Village of Shadows. Village of Shadows is, it can be quite difficult. It's, we do it with infinite ammo. We do it with infinite ammo, um, Village of Shadows, but it's a few instances where, if you remember Resident Evil 3 remake, the Inferno boss fight, if any of you played it, where it's just all of a sudden this weird boss gets lobbed at you and it's really difficult. It's an instance like that. It's not as bad as that boss in Resident Evil 3 remake, but it's close. 
it's close and um, don't use your money on this guys um, I will mention that again soon so outhouse number one here open that that's first outhouse guys outhouse one out of ten you're gonna make a note do it now grab the butter knife here in case you want to make some bread and butter um, probably moldy in this house first aid med in that crate over here and open the curtains skip the cutscene yeah I'm not healing you can heal four times by the way I'll talk about it in a second um, skip this cutscene now block as soon as he attacks you you block with L1 by the way and then spam L1 again afterwards and you'll knock him away if you do it quick enough after blocking come straight in there grab the bolt cutters and he'll magically despawn through here grab the chemical fluid and grab the herb time one sorry yeah we'll all be going a bit fast at times over here yes it's not a resident evil without bolt cutters use them to open the padlock to cut the chain even yeah that's what you use bolt cutters for into this house with the body what was that up the stairs straight away yeah don't worry you won't fall through keep going up to the window Come in here, grab the hanger bullets guys off the shelf, grab the chemical fluid off the floor, didn't pick it up, there it is. Right, come through here, come, well, come down the stairs, come to the back, grab the handgun bullets, come through here, now it's a like and now block, and as soon as you block, kick him away by spamming now one. Now just shoot him now until he does, until he's dead. I'm not sure if we have any silver ammo, we don't, so just do what you can guys. I'll explain the combat on that in a second. Gunpowder, just get past this first. Once you killed him, that's it, you walk away. Walk away. They're all scared of me now, you see. Ethan Winters. The assassin. Right, so um eventually move towards the door and you'll be able to go through it. Open it. Come around here. Right, so do not go in that house just yet. Grab this crate. Three handgun ammo. Now you can start this a bit easy, early in this ambush by just shooting a lichen you see them all perched on the houses that one perched up there um, but it'll start automatically when you enter a house if not before so up here into this house we're going to quickly loot it crate you've got handgun times three um, herb times one over here you've got shotgun shells now turn around shoot that barrel kaboom come around here block on your way out you can loot any lichens you run past keep blocking when you're passing lichen by the way just in case, over here use a nice bit of crate, handgun ammo times three, always blocking when you go past the lichen. Another crate here guys, ha handgun times three again, crouch through here, knife that flower, yes the wolves are allergic to flower apparently, rusted scrap there, another rusted scrap here, times one, back through here, up the ladder, phew, a lot to mention here, handgun bullets times ten, Gunpowder, hit that flower through here, grab the shotgun. We're not using shotgun just yet, switch back to pistol. Then close this barricade. Close the barricade. Now loot the handgun bullets from that drawer, grab the gunpowder and grab that herb. And now get ready. Right, well, got four minutes now, guys. About four minutes. Now, one or two might come behind you. They may have followed you through the basement, so just be careful. But basically, we're going to wait for any to come to this barricade and just carefully shoot them in the head like this. You've got plenty of time here, guys. Just going to keep doing this now for like the next sort of three or four minutes. It's about four. When you first hear the lichens roar, it's about four minutes from then. Um, like I say, just watch it when they come here. If they damage this barricade too much, it will break. That's it. Just keep shooting them. In the head. Don't just spam your ammo, your trigger, because you'll get through your ammo pretty quick. Try and take them headshots when they jump into your reticle. See, I keep missing. I'm pretty bad. Right, like I say, just be careful none come behind you. Um, right, got a few minutes. Um, I know, another one. Are they going to give me a chance to talk? Right, you got some on your head, mate? Right, right between his eyes. Come on. That's it. Decapitate that motherfucker. Right, crystal skull. Yeah, you can sort of loot the enemies through here. They enemies they normally they normally drop money or like a crystal. Occasionally they may drop like a material, but that's normally when you're around like a boss or something. 
Normally it's just money or a crystal. Crystal she sell to the merchant, by the way. Right, so um, they're not going to give me much chance to talk here. Um, right, so I'm just going to have to do it while we're gunning these mothers down. Yeah, careful you don't open the barricade when you're looting. Right, yeah, watch this little bugger down here. Right, get them off. Yeah, you can normally shoot once and then they like dodge back. Yeah, that earthquake, that's the big bad werewolf slamming down with his hammer. Right, one more. Oh, another one came. Oh, that's undone. Gonna run out of ammo in a minute. Run out of ammo, um, all you can do, you're on cash or it's not too difficult, you can just keep running around the area. Just keep running around the area. And by the way, when you're doing no heals, you get four, you can only heal four times, no more. And you can actually make food on this and the food does heal you. But it doesn't count as a heal. So just remember that guys, the food is a free heal. And throughout the game, there's about three or four moments when you heal up um, via the story. So, like I say, if you do run out of ammo or they break through the barricade, just keep running around. It's not, it's not difficult really. And shortly after this section, there's not really going to be any more enemies, and then we're going to get a heal, uh, automatically story heal soon, which will not count as a heal. So yeah, don't worry about it if you take too much damage. Um, now what happens? What happens when they're attacking you? By the way, they if you block it. As long as the enemy connects with you when they attack you, if they completely miss, then they normally attack again straight after. But on casual, if you if they attack you or you block an attack, you know, and they sort of grab you, you've blocked it, you take like a slight slight bit of damage. They normally don't attack again for like another five five to seven seconds or so. So you've got like a window, like what we did in that house back there. If you remember in that house I blocked him and then I just shot him about ten times. Yeah, on casual. When you have taken a hit from an enemy, either via block or just a direct hit, you've got about a six second window before they attack again. This is on casual only, by the way. But just be careful for other enemies that may attack you. A lot of time on casual, they normally attack one at a time. Now that's got to be four minutes now. Now what happens after four minutes? You've just got to keep... An uh, enemy will just randomly grab you. Um, there is a sort of trigger for it. If you, you can run outside and you can get hit by an arrow, or sometimes an enemy will damage you, it triggers a cutscene. But normally after about four minutes, the cutscene can trigger. And it should have triggered by now. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go outside and um, trigger the arrow. So if you watch, probably as soon as you get down on the ground, I'm going to get hit by an arrow. Like that. So yeah, this happens, well, oh no, the lichen appeared. The lichen appeared. So, Normally after about four minutes, there would be like a trigger like this, which will just randomly happen. And you'll get that trophy, guys. Not liking this. Not liking this. Right, so we've got four bullets left. Not many. Right, that's a witch. I don't know who she is. But after you spoke to her, we're just going to come up here. There's something in that house, but don't worry, we'll get the file later. I do know about it. Gunpowder here that we'll grab. I should have said make sure you save a bullet, because we'll need it soon. Um, there's a file there. And you've got a goat here, first goat, which is knife him, safe with ammo. Got a cynic trophy over here. I guess if you do need ammo right now, you can craft a little bit here. Um, but shoot that goat. There we go. Goat number two, guys, was up there. Come through here and grab the maiden crest off there. Come over here, shoot this crystal fragment. There we go. They sell for 2,000, I think it is, out here. Now, it's quite a lot of enemies. Well, there's three, three enemies here. Um, why didn't I just say the mountain first? But if you come back after going in the house, they all despawn. Um, but you want to run up here, jump over this fence, because if you, there's one here, and if you try and run on the opposite side, you normally run on the grab you. Go past the fence and then jump over it, come through here, interrupt this house, house and a quick scene will trigger. Skip it, well, I'm going to skip it. Out this window afterwards, up here. Gunpowder there, guys, going to grab over here. Uh, second outhouse. And inside is a chemical fluid, we'll grab that. We need to open these outhouses by the way, so make sure you're doing all this. Open this door. That's it, another cutscene. And um, go into this house afterwards, and another cutscene. Right, on this chair is a file. Right, grab that file. Now we've got to wait a second for Doris to appear. That was file number... 
file. That's file number seven, that was. File number seven. Yeah, back on track now. I had to take a look at my notes. Right, thank you, Doris. You took your time. We got it in the end. Yeah, move out my way. Uh, so come over here, and you got to wait for Doris again. Right, just take your time, Doris. No rush. Not like I have to rescue my daughter. Right, cutscene. Just run ahead to this guy. Let him bite you. That's it, dinner time. Right, after that cutscene through here, there's a herb in this plant pot. Yes, magically hidden there. Over here, open this drawer to get the truck key. Yes, and um, examine, rotate it to get to the button and then take the screwdriver out. Over here is some shotgun shells, times two. We're back through afterwards and over to Louisa. Is that her name? I don't know. No, that's really good. Um, truck key, Doris. Skip, and afterwards hit the gas, and then you can skip the cutscene if you want. Right, to yeah, top tip there. Try not to breathe in the smoke. You're welcome. That advice is free. The next one won't be. Right, another cutscene to skip. Straight out of here, out the window. Right, another cutscene skip. Matt, cutscenes, I'm skipping here. I need a, I need a skipping button. I can keep pressing options and then skip. Uh, over here, use your screwdriver. I knew that would come in handy, look at that. Luckily, it was a flattened uh, demon crest. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been in trouble. That's a Phillips, would have been in trouble. Open the door. Right. Yes, all the lichens have despawned now. So, you want to loot the area, guys, go and do it. I'm just getting this goat. Yeah, goat number three. There we go. Make sure you get that goat. There's not too much here. Um, you've got a bird cage, two crates in the grass. Um, there's a few things in them, them huts. Um, we'll, we'll be coming back in here later and we'll grab a bit of loot then. Right, just leave our old hag. Uh, we're going to enter the castle now. Castle Dimitrisk, is it called? Is that how you say it, Dimitrisk? Over here, Maiden Crest. Rotate that, baby. Yes, just like a glove. This one, uh, Demon Crest. Let's rotate that one. A nasty looking gargoyle. Right, so um, there's going to be a lot of traps you can soon, actually. Right, so let's head into Castle Demetresque. So, we've got three goats so far, guys. We've got three goats. We've got um, two, out, two outhouses. Two outhouses, and we've got seven files. Right, um, press that lever. You can view your files, by the way. If you open the map menu with the touchpad, and you can sort of click onto the journal and your files are in there. Right, so a few cutscenes here. I'll skip them in a minute. Yes, what the fuck is this thing? Yes, what a bunch of misfits these bunch are. Right, so chase sequence. Well, it's escape. Run for your life. Yeah, this is fairly easy, fairly easy. You, you can't really mess this up. I hope not, I hope not. If you mess this bit up, then I don't know what you're going to do in those notes. Right, there's a big bad wolf. We'll um, get away from him. Took his porridge. Don't worry, we'll make him some more later. Oh, what am I doing there? Up this ramp. And um, you can't go wrong. It's, it's so linear, so linear. Right. Wait for that spinner to come down. And then go into this little shithole in the corner. Here, take a shit. No, just wait in here. This is a little hole you have to come into to avoid it. And Ethan, being the nutter he is, he uses this to break the chains. He's mad. No way would I do that. He'd probably rip my arms off. But Ethan, you are the man. Right. They think I'm dead. Let's use the element of surprise against them. Right, so up here, there's some handgun ammo in this crate. Uh, handgun times four. Right, switch back to my handgun. Four Lords trophy. Uh, we're just going to get out of here now and head into Camera Dimitrescu. The merchant, we will not be buying much from him. We're just going to buy upgrades, the um, inventory upgrades and the recipes. Not going to buy anything else. Do not buy anything else from the merchant, guys. And do not upgrade your weapons. We need to save all our money up because... Basically, we need to make sure we 
to get infinity ammo for all the weapons you have to fully upgrade them it costs a lot of money so we want to just build up our money for later here guys it's a goat and you got a herb here grab the herb yeah that's goat number goat number four that is let's get that goat here he is what are you selling it's a merchant well a duke a duke they call him yeah he's quite a skinny guy quite a skinny guy needs to eat a bit more right after that into the castle into the castle and there we go yeah so i didn't speak to the men just because we haven't really got much money to buy anything oh uh, i keep doing that i some reason i think i can skip cutscene and I, I go skip it just from habit right in here grab a file there we go a file there make sure you don't get that guys and um, that was file number eight file number eight through here if you're not doing the speed run you can smash all these pots and that if you want the loot in pots, by the way, examine this, guys, now we're starting this cutscene. Yeah, the, the loot in pots and vases and crates, it's a little bit random. I'm um, skipping this cutscene. And then once you're in here, just look at your hand and press X. Now, I've probably got about a minute. Um, yes, yeah, so you can't skip this bit here. Yeah, crates and pots. The loot is a little bit random, but it's certain crates and certain pots will have fixed loot inside. And I will be looting some of them just because I know that this specific crate has like two <laughs> explosive rounds. Yeah, I'll be getting them once. Um, just things like that. But the ones that have sort of random loot, I won't be getting them. I'll leave it up to you guys. If you're not doing a speed run, you can grab almost everything. I won't be. This isn't 100% map. It's just like 100% things for trophies and a few extra things to get more money. And make it our time easier. Over here, treasure guys. Crimson glass. Through here and open this same with crafting as well guys try not to craft anything i mean we will be making food but that's different when i mean when you press triangle and you open your crafting menu to like craft bullets don't craft anything because all their materials we need to sort of really try and save them you can craft the odd things if you need to but you shouldn't really need to um up here there's some uh, rusted scrap there we go on top of the box through here grab the maroon eye ring there we go open your key items menu and examine the ring, the um, eye on that to take the eye out and then head through here. Equip your knife, gonna need it in a second. I best reload that shotgun actually. Yeah, the bosses on this level, we mainly use shotgun. Right, use knife on this, crystal fragment, there we go. And right, let's reload this. Five bullets in total. Right, unlock this door, very, very helpful. Matt times I forgot that when I've been doing runs because we're gonna be coming through that later when we're gonna be getting chased. If that's locked, then you're going to have to take a long way around past the enemy chasing you. Right up the stairs and crystal fragment on that picture. There we go. And down here. Right, use a maroon eye on this weird looking door. Who knew that was the key to the door? An eye. Right, through here. Uh, Cutscene. Yeah, you're going to get chased by it. Just turn around and come back through here. No, <laughs> let's not do that. No, I'd rather not. Right, I don't want to get my juggler cut into pieces. So I'm going to drop down here. And down here is a file. Uh, there we go, guys. File on that shelf. Don't forget that one. Down here, grab this rusted scrap. Over here and through here. It's going to be 10 hanger bullets, first of all, on our right. Where am I on my list? Okay, um, yeah, 10 hanger bullets on the right here. There we go, 10. Straight through here, and there's a crystal fragment on the ceiling. Yes, thank you. Take that. Through here. This cash will run. It's, it's easy, guys, so I think I can get away with being this fast. Shoot that over there, and then shoot it over to that one. If you have got no bullets, use your knife. But weapons are better for that than knock it further back. Come in here. The light will come on in a second. If it's got a torch, it's nipples turn into torches. Right, it's a file there. On that, make sure you don't forget that. File. Come around the other side and into this cell here. There's another file here. There we go. Come out here. And be ready. There's going to be some enemies down here. We're going to come into this room here. And there's a crate. We want the pipe bomb. Very important. The pipe bomb from that. Turn around. Come out through here. Right. Just block now. Block from these guys. Go past them, but block when you go past. There we go. Just in case they catch you and attack. Or you get stuck on them like that. Through here. It's going to be a little boss in a minute, sort of more like a mini boss. But sort of going to be the first one, I guess, technically, other than that ambush. 
I'm going to call that a boss fight. Uh, through here, just be quick, and she shouldn't get a chance to materialise up here and grab a shotgun shells and change your shotgun, you'll need it, guys. Chem through it and interact with this. Right, skip and shoot her. Right, wait for it to recover before you shoot her, and then it will stun her every time. Try and shoot her in the chest, it'll do more damage. Yeah, blow her breasts off. Yeah, there we go. Shoot her in the chest. And handgun bullets times 10 there. Handgun bullets here. And shoot this window. That's one of the first windows. Now wait for her to break up. Take the crystal torso. Am I talking too quick? I hope not. <laughs> um, file here, guys. And Sangura Virginia. I don't know how you pronounce that name. Is it French? I don't know. Take this bottle of wine. Yes. It's chilling in the blood. Right, Russ is grab, come through here, take a left first, grab a lock pick. There we go, lock pick, come over here, unlock this drawer with the lock pick. There we go. While that's locking, I'm gonna grab this attachment for this uh, pistol we've got. I'm gonna attach it. Equip part. Yes, thank you. Got a gunsmith trophy, got that petty thief one. Grab the wooden angel statue from the drawer, turn around, come back out here, reload. Crystal fragment there, guys. Grab that, smash that window. Well, knife it, save the ammo. Window two, window three. Well, I'll be heading to the Duke in a minute to buy some things. Unlock the door. Right, the thing is, um, you can't now, right now on the pause menu, there's no timer. But when you complete the game, there'll be a timer that appears on the pause menu. And the only way to tell your time on your first playthrough on new game is to actually save your game because then it tells you. In here, guys, grab the chem fluid from there. There's a file on this table. In here, place that Sangua Virginia in the slot to open to the secret room in the back, the wine room. This is where she keeps all the booze. Gunpowder times one. She's very protective about booze. And the courtyard key. Yes, that may come in handy to access the courtyard. Right, so we're going to head to the Duke now. The Duke. Right, first of all, just take a left, spawn her. Shall I give you the tour? No, I'm having the tour myself. Yeah, just go around there, spawner. And come in here, there he is, Mr. Fatso. Skip the cutscene. Right, file here, guys. Yeah, file. Right, what are we buying? Okay, so, um, first of all, let's sell some things. Right, so, crystal fragments, sell them all. Sell all your crystal schools, sell the crystal torso, sell the crimson glass, and sell the wooden angel statue. You can also sell the first aid med, but do not sell anything else. Just sell all them, all your basically all your treasures, guys, and the first aid med. Sell them. Right, we get about twenty-four grand in procs. Now you want to buy the extra baggage. You want to buy the shotgun ammo recipe. You want to buy a sniper rifle recipe, and you want to buy the mines recipe. Yes, buy all them. Right, save the game. What time are we on? We're on twenty-seven minutes. I'm about four minutes behind I think. I'm normally about 25 minutes at this point. Um, okay, okay, I've got to make some time up. Right, so um, up here. And I'm going to head back through that door now. Now we have the courtyard key. So she may spawn here, she may not. Normally that's what I do, I spawn her first because then she might not uh, spawn in. Use the courtyard key on this door to access, yes, the yard with a court inside it. There's a herb there behind that. That took me ages to find. I was looking around here for ages trying to find the last item when it's red and it was hidden sort of out of bounds through here. Right, um, one minute guys, I just need to see where are my notes. Um, QR key, a duke, file herb. Right, yes. <laughs> right, right guys, we're back. All right, so there she is. The lady of the house right so some more windows we're going to break windows 4 and windows 5 yeah you can actually hit them with a knife right up here and another window here this is window 6 round here guys and got the map there we go the map there another window another window make sure you break all these another window there come in this room and turn her Turn that woman, the sort of um, maid, to face the lady. Turn the lady, face a maid. Turn the beggars to face a cowboy. 
And that's it. That's the puzzle. So the women have to face each, face each other. The cowboy stays where he was. And the beggars have to face the cowboy. Uh, right. This will open in a second. Right, it's a goat down here. Another goat. Goat number five. There he is. I have to drop it down the hole. It's a goat. Right, over here. Get a shotgun, uh, pistol out ready. Wrist is grab. We weren't needed, but i am got this so we can knock enemies where if we need to. Round here. There's going to be an enemy here. Get ready to block and kick him away. Piss off. Down here. It's 10 handgun ammo on that. We'll grab that just in case we need it. Block just in case you need to. Down here. And there's a wrist is grab there. Block here. And then kick that fucker out of the way. Piss off about where you came from. Right. Round here. <laughs> round here. Round the corner. Through the blood. Round here. All the way up here. Block. Counter attack with L1. And pull the lever. Flush the toilet. Right. Up here. On the terrace. Sort of balcony. Behind you is a herb. Grab a herb. And come through here. And grab the money bag. 1,000 yay. Goodies. Right. Let's make another save. I'm going to try and make a save at every sort of save point. Right. Over here. There's going to be some more windows over here. So, quit the knife. Oh, telephone, is that for me? Oh, no, it's for the lady. Right, so, window, window, and another window. Right, that should be, guys, let me just tell you what windows we're on. That is Windows 17. We've done 17 windows already, really. Well, yes. That, so that's 17 windows, guys. Yeah, make sure. No, sorry. That's 12 windows. 10, 11, 12. That's 12 windows. So yeah, 12 windows. I was looking at the wrong part of my notes. So it's a file on the chair. And then take the key. Hang in on the candles there. And then try and unlock the door. Well, it actually unlock the door. And a little cutscene will trigger. Right, I'm skip, skip it. Straight after. There's a gunpowder here on your right. And then come through here, we're going to get a massive sorrow. But Ethan's going to have a little accident now. Well, I won't call it an accident. We'll find out in a second. Um, another lever. And, uh, yeah, come through here, turn a right, take a right. I wish there's a little mini map in the corner on this. To see where I'm going a bit better. Pull that. And, oh. Oh no, <laughs> holy shit. Uh oh. Yes. I have no hands. <laughs> Anybody got a spare hand? Right, so I'm just lure her to that gate and then come over here and grab your hand back. Yeah. You might need to glue that back on. Right, open that door and then you've got to wait a second for the gate to open so the lady comes, just bait her around one of these pillars. There we go, just bait her around there. And then through the gate afterwards. Now, if she's not right behind you, she normally comes through this gate here. Um, but we do heal up just after this bit. Yeah, I didn't say, but just after we met the Duke and came to the castle for the first time, we healed. There's an automatic heal. And there's an automatic heal after this as well. Grab the Mask of Sorrow. Yes, yeah, an automatic heal here. <laughs> well, got me away from you. And uh, gives me a chance to put my hand back on. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty will put himself back together. Uh, yes. Mask of Sorrow. Right, thank God for that first aid med. It's as if nothing ever happened. Um, so now we've got we've got the um, Dimitrescu key and we're getting the Insignia key next. Yes, so after here, we're going to turn right. Take a right there. You can go, if you go back up to a room, by the way, now you can get a lipstick. Sales is 6,000. I leave it, so just waste too much time. It's only 6,000. Right through here, just block while you're waiting, just in case you get attacked. They won't follow you through. There's a castle map there, the Annex one. Switch to your knife. Window there. Window here, guys. And another window here. Up the stairs, and there's a file. There we go, on there. Come through here, shoot the crystal fragment. There we go. Up there, shoot that crystal fragment. Another window here. 
and another window and a file make sure you examine the center so it actually reads like this otherwise it won't count properly then place it back down switch to your weapon and shoot that window there there we go make sure it breaks you want to be sure just run up to it and knife it through here make sure you block when you go past that guy yeah we're not doing the labyrinth yet we do the labyrinths later don't bother this first one so it don't give you much right we've got to do this little melody now um there's a file here i'll get it in a second right so this one's really easy you've got to keep pressing the notes until you find the right right one it's really easy really easy guys there we go that's that one right there's a file here i normally get that before i get this key so i almost forgot it <laughs> almost forgot it right i need a signature key but we'll get this file there we go make sure you properly examine it again guys so it properly registers and iron insignia key wow so back upstairs we've got all the keys now we really need watch out when you pass them all the time when you pass an enemy guys block just in case right when you get through here yes big lady will come through the door right just lure her around that bit there and then come back through be quick come over here guys and use the iron insignia key switch to your shotgun make sure it's reloaded because they've got a boss in here and it's one of her daughters again. Come right first and there's shotgun shells on the back of this bookcase if you need them. Save shotgun shells for these bosses by the way. Now, these, you can't actually damage these women unless there's sort of light coming in. They're sort of immune unless there's light coming in. So this one you have to pull the lever down to open the sun, the, um, sun blinds above and quickly damage her. So press that lever, that's it. And then look for her, there, there we go. Remember, Wait for it to recover before you shoot, so it stuns her. Shoot her in the chest. Okay, she may, this one sometimes actually a bit too fast, don't worry. That's it, blow up her breasts. Yeah, that's a real bad shot. I completely missed it then. Just make sure you pull this back down straight after, guys. Right, where's she going? Right, she's dead. Yeah, I used a bit more ammo than what I should have done. She should have died in four or five. Um, she'll drop across her torso, make sure you get that afterwards. And then you want to come in this door to the west. This west, yeah, grab, go in the west door afterwards, guys. Through here, switch your knife. There's a window here. There we go, that's window 18, I believe. There's only one more to do. Over here, grab the mask of joy. <laughs> the mask of joy. Through here, switch your handgun. Shoot that bell. We've got to shoot five bells in this room. There's some hanger bullets in here if you need them, 15. You've got a bell up here, a little tiny bell on the top of that sort of cabinet. There we go. You get a better view from the top, by the way. Now in here, there's going to be a bell here in a minute. Be ready to shoot it. There we go. Shoot that bell. You know when you shot them, so there'll be a little flame above. Up here, there's a bell on top of the chandelier. There we go. And the last one, and the last window. There we go. Yeah, you should get the hooligan trophy. If you have not got the hooligan trophy now, guys, it's because you missed a window. You didn't break a window, or or two, or three perhaps. But hopefully, well, you should have got that. Through here, there's Herb here, guys, on your left. Through here, up the ladder. Up the ladder, and we've got goat number six up here. Yeah, goat number six. Up the ladder. Yeah, I'm two seconds behind. Two seconds behind. Um, right up here, goat there. Make sure you get a goat over here. Gunpowder in that little box over here is a file. Yep, yeah, grab that file, turn around. Back over here is a lock pick. We'll grab. I don't really use many of these lock picks, but I like to get them for you guys just in case you want them. I don't get them all, but I get a few that we pass. Up here, you got the rifle. F2 rifle. Well, I'll kill that on us for a second. And over here, a lot of these sort of bats are going to spawn. And just wait a minute. You can probably shoot a bit earlier. But what I like to do is wait for it to perch on here, then we shoot it and that gets us a trophy. Just wait for it to perch. And there he goes. Bang. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, yes, he did. I was going to say, that normally pops a trophy. I was like, why didn't he die? But he did. So you shoot him when he perches. It should kill him. And you should get a trophy, guys. Trick shot. Right. So obviously they're trying to swarm me at the moment. They're trying to take me away to feast on me. So um, if only you get close. Like in front of, obviously you can't tell they're behind, but when you get close in front, just block. And up here, there's a crystal fragment on there. 
There we go. Grab that. And by the way, I've turned off auto aim. You may want to turn off auto aim, by the way, just because if you have auto aim on, when you're going to village shadows later, it'll be a bit more, it'll take a bit more getting used to because obviously there'll be no auto aim on there. So if you have it turned off now, you get sort of get used to it a bit quicker. So go down the zip line, and you've got another mask here. The mask of, is it rage? Mask of, yes. I got it right, I can't believe it. Right, around here. Kick this ladder down, and then come down the side of it, and you can just drop off. Don't worry, it won't break us full. He can glue his hand back together. That's not gonna hurt him. Open the elevator, and let's go for a ride. Right, I've got about 10 seconds now. Um, yeah, so got that crystal fragment here. Yes, okay, so once you get down the elevator, guys, there's a crystal fragment we're going to get. And it's just up here. You may have seen it on your way down, actually. There we go, grab that crystal fragment. Yes, out here. There she is, lady. This is why we needed to unlock that door. If you didn't unlock that door earlier, it'll be closed right now. Right, switch to your shotgun you're going to need out in a minute. Can't believe I haven't got much ammo left. I'm normally better with ammo than that. If you do run out of ammo on the boss, by the way, just switch, just switch to your pistol. Switch to your pistol. So through here, quickly use the iron, uh, Dimitrescu's key on this door. There are a few rooms that I leave here, which is because it's going to waste time. Right in here, and crystal fragment on the ceiling, grab it. Grab the Mask of Pleasure. Grab the Silver Ring from that drawer. Through here. And grab the Wrist of Scrap. Up here, some shotgun shells here. There we go. And just reload, because when we get to this, basically when we get to the middle of the room, the boss is gonna spawn in. But in order to damage the first, you have to quickly move this shelf out of the way and then lob a pipe bomb on the wall to let it light in. And then you can damage it. So quickly, come over to this, guys, move it. Switch to your pipe bomb. There we go, lob it at the wall. Switch your shotgun. And you can damage her now. Just like before, five shots, well, four or five. Try and hit her after she recovers, and it should stun her then. My body, what about it? Right, one more shot, she's dead. No, she's not. She is now. Right, got her now. Right, one, she's dead, guys. She is dead, yeah. Grab this lock pick and grab the two pipe bombs. You're gonna need these these pipe bombs gonna need them for later, so do not use them. And then grab the animal mount from the wall. Grab that from the wall and then loot the crystal torso from her. There we go, loot the crystal torso down here. And shit, got no shotgun shells left. Never mind. We'll get more soon. Right over here, and what you need to do here is examine the animal school. And rotate it to the back and examine the back and you'll loosen this and then we're gonna slot it into this guys. Yes, there we go. Right, so um do we see the Duke before? I'm just trying to No no we don't, not really. We don't see the Duke before. No. Right, so let's go and do the big boss, the first big boss guys. Right, so just heading back down now. The lady's gonna be out here, Lady D. Just wait for her to move on a minute. Don't worry, she won't hear you. Not in this difficulty anyway. Yeah, she's a whole lot of woman. Right, wait. Oh shit, too early. I can get past. Normally I wait for her to get about here, so you've got space to get past. But um, I got a bit too crazy, as you know, it's me. So down here, we're on cash oil, it's honestly not a big problem. Right, so on this one, so you need to use, in order from left to right, use sorrow, pleasure, joy, rage. S, P, J, R. S, so S. S, P. From left to right, S, P, J, R. There we go. And you have to wait a minute now for this door to open. What you can do, you can go and wait in the Duke's office if you want to make a safe game. In fact, I will make a save. I'm fine, mate. Thanks for the help. Right, let's make a save, guys. What are we on? 41 minutes. Wow. Right, the door should be open by now. So um, let's go through. And go and engage the boss now. So we'll get rid of this boss pretty quick. But um, you have got to be quite accurate, I guess. So open this coffin. And inside, it's a shame you don't get to keep its knife because it's awesome. 
Look at this blade. Wow, shame we don't get to keep that. Be like a, it's like a Bowie knife. Right, let's get the cutscene. Right, straight away, guys. Um, you want to make sure you got your sniper rifle, short cutter, switch to that. And quickly, if you don't shoot her, she'll run down to you and hurt you. But shoot that. That's it, just shoot the weak point once. Yeah. The thing on the top, lady on the top, that's a weak point. Right up here. And loot the handgun ammo, loot everything here, shotgun bullets, sniper rifle and shotgun, loot it all. Right, come out here, turn left and run all the way around it, anti-clockwise. I'll explain why we're doing this in a minute. Come through here and then come through here and reload the shotgun. Right, basically we got the ammo, then we went through that little archway, through the little tower, into the main square part, the path that goes around it. We went left first and then through these sort of archways in the front of us. The reason we do that is they're sort of like a damage cap to her and she needs to knock down these two towers first. You can only damage her so much and then you can't do any damage until she knocks these two towers down. So I always come left first, come around here and we just get her to knock these two towers down straight away and then we let into her. So I wait here, otherwise if you're standing here you might she might hit you. Wait for it to knock these through and then straight after I pump five shotgun bullets into a weak point on the top of her body. Five. So she'll just come in, there she is, get ready. So five. There she is, into on the top. Get ready and that's just done her. So five. That's it. Once you've done them all, make once you basically hit her five times, make your way onto the outside of her, sort of on the outside of the castle path. She may attack you then. If she does go to attack you, she normally just arch backwards and then attacks. Sort of similar to what she did then when I stunned her. You just need to sort of, just make sure you're always blocking her attacks. But similar to like I mentioned earlier, once she's attacked you and it's either hit you or you've blocked it, she don't she normally don't attack for like a good five to ten seconds. But once you've hit them five bullets in her weak point on the top, come around here on the side of her. Make sure you're blocking. And normally when you get to the back, she'll normally go past you, jump over the edge and fly away. Now we need to snipe her weak point while she's flying in the distance. It's very important here, if you don't hit her straight away, or if you don't hit a weak point, it makes this fight going a lot longer. So you may want to just reload, keep restarting until you do it. But you want to try and hit a weak point here. Auto aim might work here, I've not actually tried auto aim. But yeah, hit a weak point. And there we go. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky. Auto aim might help there. It, I don't know, I've not had auto aim on that bit. But um, yeah, hit her. And then once you hit her, run around and back to where you were. And then she'll fall down either side. It's normally this side because that's the opposite side where you ran past. Equip your pipe bombs, lob both of them at her. Change to your rifle. And then just shoot the weak point. That's it. So you quickly lob both pipe bombs at her when she's knocked down. And then switch to your rifle and keep shooting a weak point. And once she begins to stand up after shooting her, that means she's going to go into the next phase. If you leave it too long, she'll stand up anyway because she's not going to stay staggered permanently. But normally, if she wakes up after you've hit her, well, stands up after you've hit her, it's normally because you've triggered her next phase. And at that point, she'll fly away and then she'll uh, jump on you and there'll be a cutscene and you can't damage her anymore. So once you attack her and she, your attacker makes her get up, don't attack her anymore, it's just be a waste of ammo. She's going to fly away now and say some crap about daughters and blood. And then she's going to jump on us. There she goes. Yeah, about a daughter. Well, my daughter's going to mention. And then she's going to talk about blood. There we go. Not enough blood. And there'll be this little cutscene. Right. Uh, no, don't restart. Yeah, skip the cutscene once it triggers. Straight after, up the stairs, guys. Two crates up here. That want to break. Right, let's um, shortcut that knife. Yeah, there's two crates up here. One's going to have shotgun ammo, one will have handgun. Um... There we go, loot them, and quickly reload your shotgun. And now she's gonna basically perch down here. I'm just gonna unload the shotgun into her, basically now. You can, I guess you can use your rifle as well if you want. Use your rifle first, I guess. Um, Cause we use that less. Yeah, right, just, um, it's a bit of a weird angle for a rifle, actually. Now use the shotgun. <laughs> Don't use a sniper rifle. That's it, just keep shooting a weak point. There we go. And that's it guys, yeah that's it, she's dead. And, yes. 
cutscene, I'm skipping it, of course, you get a castle within the treasure. Your one is cursed. And straight after that, come over here and grab the flask. There we go. No, I can't skip that cutscene. Yeah, grab the flask and... Yeah. Yeah, so um, that's it for that bit. That's the castle done. I don't know what time we're on. I normally... Yeah, there's a file in there by the way, an outhouse and a well, but we'll come back there later, just if you're wondering. Right, shoot the lock off or knife it. I should have knifed it. I've got so much handgun ammo, 80 bullets, well. Um, so yeah, don't be shy of using your bullets just to shoot things. Right, fish here. You need to make sure you get all these fish. There we go. There's three fish here. Make sure you shoot them all. You cannot come back to this spot. Very important. You can't. You also can't go back to the castle, so you need to make sure you didn't miss anything there. But you should have if you've been following me well. So through here, be a cutscene. Skip that. Turn around after and grab the winged key. There we go. And we'll head outside and go to the Duke now. Yeah, let's use the key on this door to unlock it. Right, I've got to turn the page. In a second. When I guess when I get him. I get a minute when we when we see the Duke again. I get a moment there. Oh, I've got to wait for this door to open. There we go. Right, next page. So now we're gonna get um Oh we're gonna get a new pistol now actually. Yeah, we're gonna get a new pistol, so we're gonna, actually gonna sell this one. Yeah, we're gonna sell this one because we do get a new pistol in a minute. And I do sell a few weapons, but I normally wait until we've basically Every weapon you can find, you, you can find one attachment for it in the world, except for the first shotgun we get. And there, there is a goat back there, but I leave it until later. So through here, yeah, the Duke's going to be through here. And this is sort of like your hub area now. And this is like a centre area here where the Duke, Duke is. If you ever need to go back to the Duke, this is where you'll find him. There he is. Um, eat and food, no doubt. There you are. Right, there, uh, there I am. Right, so, um, okay, so we can try and sell some things here if you want now, guys. You can buy, in fact, if we can, that would be great because we can buy more bigger storage. Just sell all your treasure, guys, all your treasure. Don't sell anything else. Just your treasure. Oh, yeah, and your gun, sorry. Yeah, and sell your pistol. We're not going to need it. Yeah, sell your pistol. Don't sell anything else. Just a treasure and your pistol. Where is it? The Lemmy. Yeah, we can sell that now. Obviously, make sure you've got the attachment attached to it. There we go, and we're going to buy the extra baggage, guys, and the pipe bomb recipe. Right, let's make a save. What time are we on? Um, 46 minutes. I can't quite recall what time we're on. So open this gate with the winged key. Well, I'm going to use knife here, not waste a shotgun, but it's down here. Well, we'll get a new weapon in a minute, guys, don't worry. Get new weapons shortly. Right, um, we've got one lockpick here, so we're going to use that now. So we're going to come through here. And there's a file we missed earlier. Well, I did miss it, I just want to come through now. Get that file, it's on there. Get the chem fluid, and in this drawer, some shotgun ammo, which we'll get. You need a lockpick for it. And the shotgun time seven, I think. Yes, there we go, guys. Shotgun time seven. And back out. Where's the door? I'm, <laughs> I'm disorientated. Where am I? Oh, there we go. Uh, yes, out the door. Right, let's go and get this new pistol. So we can actually head up here now. And yeah, I'm just seeing what we do next, guys. So up here in this room, there's a file. There we go, make sure you grab a file. Another lockpick, draw some shotgun shells inside. We'll unlock that. Yeah, there we go, shotgun shells. Equip your shotgun, you need it in a minute. There's a wooden animal body, a treasure that is unlock this door. Outhouse here, by the way. That's outhouse number number three. A rusty scrap inside. Over here, through here. Move this. And there's an enemy here. Like remember, hit him in the chest for maximum damage if you can. Oh, okay. I'll just go over headshot. Outhouse here, by the way. Yeah, make sure you get this outhouse. Right round here. And outhouse here. And get his outhouse. There we go. Another outhouse. Make sure you get that one, guys. Yes. I'm going to use my shotgun there. Okay, never mind. You do get shotgun bullets from it anyway. Yeah, birdcage there. Four shotgun bullets. That's the only reason I get that. 
Right, knife is padlock. Right, just one minute. What do we get in here? It's outhouse in here. Um, no, there isn't. No, tell a lie, guys. <laughs> I remember him wrong. Right, through here and over this padlock. And the code is 07 07 04 08. 07 04 08. Do not look out the window because then it makes an enemy spawn. Yeah, the enemy only spawns if you look out the window. So that's a padlock. So you got the M19, nice. And you got a jack handle. Yeah, right, out the door afterwards. Yeah, there could be some lichens now. Um, but if you're quick, you can despawn them all. Come over here, use the jack handle quickly on this. Yeah, use the jack handle, that's it. And then get underneath the tractor, and that'll despawn all the lichens. You can quickly get underneath, that's it, they will despawn now. Yes, yeah, so keep coming through here. Right, we're going to get some meat now. So as you're heading into a, a room we went in earlier, actually. And yes, through here, there's a huge pig in here now. That's it, just kill him. And then loot him for meat. Yeah, he won't be needing it. Take the meat, and there's going to be a load more lichens. <laughs> lichen, icons? Lichen spawn. And there's going to be a big armoured one. Just get past these block. If you pass too close to one. That's it, just in case you do get hit. Yeah, just block when you want to pass them. That's it, there he is. Just straight through here, guys. Through here and use the iron insignia key. Then quickly through here, grab the well wheel. There we go, grab the well wheel. Through here, block, and then up the ladder. You block because sometimes they get you before you get to the ladder. So just make sure you block them just in case. They won't chase you up the ladder. That's it, we don't have to worry about them no more. Metal scrap there. Drop down, right, there's some chickens here. Right, pain in the ass to hit these ones. I feel like Rocky when he's trying to chase a chicken here. Oh my fucking god, fuck this. This one I need a grenade launcher. Right, so yeah, loot all these chickens, there's one poultry. Another poultry. You actually get three here, so there should be one more. And where's the other one? There should be one more. There he is. Thought he got away from me, didn't you? Could do better than that next time. Oh, there won't be a next time. She's dead. Right, and um, I just picked it up. You didn't see it, so that's too fast. Right, gunpowder, guys, times one. And another outhouse and a large crystal inside. There we go. Large crystal there. Right, we've got that up this ladder. And so file in, file in here and another key. A file and another key, guys. So through here, be quick, there is an enemy, if you quit you shouldn't have to kill him, fire all there, and then loot the key from here. That's it, you can block just in case, that's it, examine it, just rotate it so you can examine it, you can combine it. That's it, now we've got a four winged key, right, out here, just don't bother wasting ammo on that enemy, he despawns. Right, out of the skates, up here, and use a well wheel on this. We'll be back to get what it drops in a second. Over here, you got rusty scrap on that shelf. You got Vivianite down there, little gemstone. You got a teddy bear, cute little thing. You got a gunpowder times one, we'll give that to Rose later. And a chem fluid. Back up here, grab the rusty scrap from the tractor. And then grab the wooden animal head from that bucket. Don't forget that, I've done it a few times. And. Yeah, so. Um, Yes, yeah, so ah, so what, that's what we're doing now. So just going to loot up here a bit now. So up here and up there, it's the juicy game. That little bluebird, yeah, shoot the bluebird. That's it. It will drop the juicy game. And herb there. Do not sell these foods now. I mean, I've been telling you not what to sell, so you shouldn't have sold these. But to me, yeah, don't sell them because we need them to craft stuff later. So three fish here. There we go, get these fish. That's it, three fish. There we go, let's go and get some more goodies now. We're going to get a pig, another bit of meat. Well, quality, we're going to get quality meat now. Yeah, two likely spawn when you come back in, don't worry about them. Ah, we're also going to get Chris's, well, file here. 
yeah, there's the file. Grab that file from the laptop. Out here. And, yeah, keep coming. Yeah, they'll say, well, we can actually loot there, but I'm going to leave it. Leave that until later when we pass through later. So, just come up here. Just ignore the birds. Yeah, they're squawking quite a bit. There's that pig. Yes, yeah, just keep shooting them. There we go. Come over here and use the well wheel. That's it. And loot the quality meat from this pig. And then grab the pipe bombs times three when they come up. That's it. Make your way back over here, guys. Over here, grab the magnum ammo. Very, very important magnum ammo. You can't craft magnum ammo until new game plus. Grab the Regis necklace. Handgun ammo and explosive rounds times two. So again, a bit twisted on my words here. Right, and if you go into your key items, that necklace, examine it. That's it to find the necklace stone and then examine the necklace with key. Let's so find the key inside. We'll use that later. We'll use that key later. And I think I'm going to get that well at the back of the church right now. So I think I might forget about it later. Right, afterwards, come down here. We're just going to get the actual chicken, poultry down here. Right, so you've got two chickens. There we go, and you've got a rusty scrap there. There we go, poultry and another poultry. That's it, that's all we needed now, guys. Now we can crack on with the story. Yeah, there'll be quite a lot of parts like this where as you advance through the story, new sort of items, well, new meat appears or new enemies appear. So a well wheel. Yes, let's just quickly get its loot. I was going to get it later, but I'm afraid I'm going to forget if I don't get it now. I'm afraid I'm going to forget. Right, necklace with two holes. Never sell that because we get two treasures, but then much later on in the game to combine with that, and it sells for like 50,000. I think it's 50,000 if you combine it with these other two treasures. So we want to save it until later, guys. Right, um, up here to the Duke, and we're going to craft a few some meals now, actually. We'll craft some me meals. And I wonder what time we're at. So we'll just do this, craft these meals first. Yeah, he shows all the treasures on your map now. You truly wish to... Of course they wish. Well then, well, yes, let's peruse. Yes, so new cooking. Some... Right, let's sell some crap Soon first. Yes. Do not never sell the necklace with two holes, guys. Really. It's oh yeah. Oh shit. And combine combine the wooden animal. No, don't examine it. Combine it with the other part. That's it. To make that you'll get a trophy, repair. Welcome, yeah. Right, and it sells for a lot more. When items are combined, they sell for so much more, guys, when treasures are combined. Right, so now you see it's 15,000 now. Right, that's all we wanted to sell. Do not sell anything else, guys. Just your treasure. Right, and yeah, nothing we can buy. But power? what we're going to buy now, guys, is we're going to buy, uh, we're going to make bird and beast pull off because that will increase, that increases the, um, well, it decreases the damage you take when you're guiding permanently. Yeah, it's a permanent buff. And you can actually heal here. Um, yeah, so you can actually use these meals to heal. Obviously, the guardian ones don't heal you, but the ones that increase your health do. Um, but you can actually slot food ready. Yeah, you can slot food ready. Um, so you don't have to worry about it later. There we go, like that. Yeah, you can slot all this later. You ain't got to worry about it then. And juicy game there. Right, yeah. So, yeah, we've just bought them, guys. Right, make a save. And we're heading to the dollhouse. What time are we on? Um, 54 minutes. I think I'm normally about that time here. I think I'm normally about 54 minutes. Um, let me just... Just got to see what the time is. Okay. Right, guys. Let's do this. 54 minutes. Got about two hours left to guide. Right. Four winged key. We can open this now. I'll get, we're going to get two goats now. And there's going to be nothing to collect quite for probably about five or ten minutes yeah we're, i think 54 minutes i think i've made a bit of time i think i've made a bit of time here so we're just going to head into angie's now oh little baby little push chair neglect somebody neglected their babies left them to a while wonder in the wilderness right there's a goat there don't forget that one guys that's goat number seven Uh, no, it's not. That's goat number. Uh, yeah, that's goat number seven. 
I actually forgot to loot a bit back there. Fuck. We'll go and do it when we go back. What's going on? Shit. Never mind. There's a bit I forgot to loot with um, poultry and a large crystal and another goat. We'll have going to we'll have going to do that later. Shit. It's near that. It's near that um, necklace as well. We got the um, from the well. So literally right next to it. To gonna waste about thirty seconds there running back. What the hell is this? Um, Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. Yeah, I can't, I, forgot, I can't believe I've got that actually. This can't be real. Yeah, I'm just um, I'm just looking, guys. Don't mind me. I'm just looking to see what the plan is after this, after this part. So there's nothing to really collect here. There's one more goat we're gonna um destroy, and then. Yeah, Royal Mail is here. There you go, family photo. Have I got the right address? Yeah, I think so. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, so he, he puts a <laughs> he puts a photo through the door, then just opens it and one just three. Right, so up the elevator. Well. We've got so much pages of notes for this game. Come with me, Ethan. Yeah, this bit's where it gets a little bit spooky. Yeah, so... I think we're doing alright. I think we're doing alright. Um, I would have... I can't believe I missed that bloody... That poultry and the goats and the large crystal. In the, it's a little, basically a little cemetery beyond the church, a little one, um, which I meant to loot. I forgot. Fuck. I always forget something. Right, switch to your rifle, and you can see a goat just over there. It's quite hard to see from here. He's basically that. That's it. Just there. It's quite hard to see, but. Um, You know what, I've shot it from there before, but I want to make sure you can see it properly. I've shot it from there before, but it, I don't know why I can't see it. Look, there it is. Just shoot that quickly. Yeah, shoot that goat quickly. I thought it would save a bit of time to be honest shooting it from there, but you can't see it. And I just want to show you where it is. So in here, guys, I guess I actually wasted more time. Right, into this and into this room. Hello. Into this room at the back. Yeah, dollhouse. House of fun. Another elevator to go down. Yeah, so puzzle down here and it actually doing like it, it gets you doing loads of things you don't need to do. I mean if if you get if you're playing through this game blind, you sort of have to do everything um, just to find the solutions, I guess. But if you know the solutions, you that's like half of the puzzle you don't have to do. Um, so yeah, it's similar. It's similar to um, you know, in seven when you go into the, you go into that, that um, house of fun where he's got all the traps, and that this, you go into the um, the room of the birthday cage. Remember that this bit similar to that, I guess. Shit, yeah. <laughs> it's not Mia. Mia's hungry. Yeah, that's pretty freaky, pretty freaky voice. Okay, so um, the light will the light will come back on. There we go. Uh, straight after, come over to this wooden doll and examine the right leg. Uh, move your hand to the right, and then automatically do that, and then hold left, and um, you'll find the winding key. We put that there. No wonder we couldn't find it. Right, um, over here, and the code, guys. Shit. Oh yeah, O five two nine eleven. Um O five two nine eleven. Yes, my birthday. O five two nine eleven. Right. The door's unlocked now. Right now. Now for the next puzzle. So through here and we're gonna head into the storm. Oh it's like an invitation. It's inviting me in. Let's go inside here into the storeroom. Right, and uh I can't remember what you call these things. Right, use a winding key. Right, we're going to move number one with number two, then number two with number four, then number three 
with number four, and then number four with number five, and then press square to play it. Yeah, so if you're doing that order, um, move one with two, two with four, three with four, and then four with five, and then press square to play, and you'll get the tweezers. Yeah, see that bit of skin on the end, yummy. So once you get the tweezers back to the doll, and we're gonna stick the tweezers down the doll's throat. Oh shit. Somebody, they need to call the mechanic. Right, the handyman even, not a mechanic. Right, open her mouth. You have to come around this side to examine the mouth, that's it. Hold the left in the analog stick to open it and use some tweezers. Wow. <laughs> that eye. Right, so um, once you've got the film, we're gonna go back through here, guys, back to the elevator, and we're gonna go in the um, study now. I think it's a study, yeah, I don't think it's a bedroom. There's no bed in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, into here, guys, the little study. Into out of the um, little film reel, and use it, use the film, and move number two with number five, then number one with number three, and then play movie. Yeah, let's watch the movie, guys, The Ring. It looks like the ring when um, it shows so well. Remember that movie, The Ring, where you watch a tape and then she comes out of the TV. That film was fucking freaky when I first watched it. When you just when you see her come out of the TV, shit. I'm, am I spoiling that? Apologies, I'm spoiling that for anybody. But shit, yeah, because um, fuck, maybe I should edit that out. Um, yeah, so you go down here, guys. Yeah, you need to watch that film without knowing what's going to happen. I'll probably cut that bit out. If I remember, I hope I do. Right, so once the secret passageway opens, come here, get the scissors. She's nice. That doll is kindly holding the scissors for you. Right, cut the tape. Because Ethan can't just push it off, you can only cut through the tape. It's got that indestructible glue, which is permanent, permanent glue. Right through here. Yeah, don't ignore the phone call. She's in a fucking insurance scammer. Right, the door will open in a second. Come over to the bandage and we're going to cut it. Yeah, we're going to strip her naked. And we're going to open up her heart. Yeah, I don't think she had one. Yeah, brass medallion. And uh, we're going to use it on this door now. So use the brass medallion on the top. And the top left one needs to be a flying crow but facing right. Yeah, top left needs to be a flying crow facing to the right or to the east and then the bottom one needs to be three closed eyes well blind three blind eyes sorry they're not closed they're blind that's it let's head down this pitch black tunnel thank god i've got my nipple torches on right down the tunnel and uh, down the well yeah yeah let's just go down the well why not in pitch black Right, at the bottom we're going to find a uh, breaker, I think it's a breaker key, yes, breaker box key. Shit, it's a hand, get out. <clears throat> breaker box key. Shit, here it comes, the unborn baby. This baby is pretty freaky. Yeah, you'll find out in a second. Slowly creeping after you. This is like, they all have a little sequence like this, don't they, all the new remakes? I mean, number two remake had the, um, they have like a little section in the middle where it plays a bit differently. Like, this has got this section, and remake two had, um, oh shit, yeah. I should have said, once you get around this corner and you hear the noise, turn around and start running back. I ran a bit too far then. Yeah, when you get around this corner and you hear the noise, start running back. Yeah, two remakes got the um, part in the, um, the orphanage where you play as Sherry and um, you play as Ada when you're Leon. So through here, and we've got to come back through this back way. I'm forgetting what I'm doing now, actually. Yeah, back through here. Yeah, in Remake 3, you got a bit where you play as Carlos, haven't you? Yeah, and here we've got this. So through here, yeah, you use the breaker box key. There we go, and grab the relief off a child. They like playing hide and seek in these fucking arms. Right, back through here. And, um, yeah, that baby is fucking freaky. 
He's got a big mouth on it. He probably just wants to play. There's no way I'm playing with something that looks like that. So we've got a relief of a child. So now I can open this door now. Yeah, I went back that way around because of, otherwise you'll run into the baby. Oh. oh, excuse me guys. So relief of a child. Relief of a child. It is daytime here, I'm just a bit tired. So through here and um, on the wall there, we've got a fuse. Yeah, a fuse is in the bedroom, a fuse box. Right, we need to head back now. Normally when the light comes back on after that, I always, I'm always like disorientated for like a few seconds. A bit like I was in that other house. Right, up here. Oh, shit, mama. Here comes the baby. Mama, I'm not your mama. It just wants a mama, but it, it's not me. Chris Redfield, you can be a mama. Right, under the bed. Yeah, under the bed we go, yeah. Classic hiding space, under the bed. You'll never, you'll never think to look underneath here. Yes, I am. Um, I need to remember to go back to that little cemetery after. Yeah, eventually the baby will catch up. Give it a chance, it can't walk yet. It's still quite, it's only a few months old. And it's one ugly motherfucker. Disgusting. Wait till you get around the corner. If you get out too early, it will kill you. Oh my god, he's disgusting. You disgust me. Get out of my sight. And it's voice as well. Right, so obviously we can't go that way. So we're heading back now. We've got a fuse, guys. We can get back up the elevator now. I wonder what time we're on. I wonder what time. We normally get to a factory about two hours. So um, yeah, I, I remember actually. So through here. Yeah, we get to a factory about two hours. So if I can get to a factory for two hours, should be okay for the speed run. Right. Put a few in, wait for the elevator. Yes, the baby's coming. Oh, <laughs> that mama. Yeah, now I'm, now I'm calling for mama. Yeah, quick get in the elevator and press the switch. There we go. It can kill you if you're not quick enough. Well, I know it's mouth like a fucking breastfeeding on Lady D or something. Oh, it's breath. That's fucking melted my face off. So, that's our section done. And you may have to face a baby again. I will not reveal that. Alright, so um, now we've got to play hide and seek again. We've got to find, um, <clears throat> we've got to find uh, that stupid little doll now. But that's basically three times you have to find it. Three times. Try and find me. Try and find me. Wow. Yeah, the first time it's always, almost, well, every time, the first time it's always been in this bedroom upstairs. So I think this is the only one that's fixed. The other two times it's a little bit random. So she's always here on the first time. Fucking stupid little doll. Got lichens, vampires, dolls, <laughs> fucking mutant babies. Freak, wow, I feel really brave stabbing a doll. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Right, normally, so the first time she appears there, and the second time she appears in that sort of, um, in this room in here. Then she sort of appears in here. She'll either be down there, in between in that little bedroom or down the back here, yeah. She's either tucked at the left there where I just showed you, around that sort of partition near the bed, or you find her around the back of this bookcase. And now she'll either appear back near the elevator or she'll appear over here. I'll come over here first because it's a closer spot. Yeah, or she'll be here. Yeah, if she's not there, she'll buy the elevator. Shit. It's gonna take like a minute to walk there. Yeah, if she's not there, she'll be all the way back by the elevator. Yeah, there she is. Got ya. Right, that's it. We did it. You can probably come through that door, actually. Fuck, I forgot about it. There's a doorway here. I can't remember if it's locked or not, though. <laughs> Fucking what a scream. 
Okay. Fucking really annoying noises in this house. Right, so, um, yeah, loot it afterwards. You'll get the four winged unborn key. So there we go. Grab the crystal from a body crystal, Angie. And grab the flask, guys. That makes two. And let's go. That makes two. Halfway. No, not quite halfway yet. Right, so um, I'm just going to quickly go back, guys, and do that cemetery. Can't believe I missed that. Because uh, your poultry does get quite short, poultry does. So um, through here, I think if you collect every single poultry in the game, you, you only have like one left. So um, yeah, go down on the elevator. And there's a few things we collect here. We're going to do labyrinth as well, actually. First labyrinth we're going to do. And uh, what do we do when we get back? We're just thinking what we do when we get back to the... Um, Yeah, I'm just thinking what we do, guys, when we get back to um, back to the the village area. Where's I write down pipe bomb here, but I can't remember where I put the pipe bomb. Ah, yeah, through here, guys. And um, yeah, so we're back here now. You can come back here, and there's a treasure in that grave there, but I don't bother collecting it. Right, so um, up here, and. Don't go too far left here, some a load of enemies will trigger. We'll trigger them a bit later. Through here, uh, shoot this bird cage down. And 2,000 lay inside there. And loot this ball from this box. We've got a sun and moon ball, that's for a labyrinth. Come around here and we're gonna get a shotgun now from in here. Through here, grab the lock pick from that ledge. And then grab the tack. W870 tack. Come out here, make sure you're blocking. There you go, in case you get hit. Come over here. There you go. Always block when you go past enemies, guys. That's it. No more should spawn. Over here and activate its well wheel. That's it. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this outhouse. Yeah, another outhouse here, guys. And inside, yeah, photo of strange bird. That just shows you that bird was, but we've already got it. But yeah, get that photo, guys. In there, Madalena, the head. Through here. And we're going to place the sun and moon ball. I remember where we get a pipe bomb now. Yeah, so this one's pretty easy. Yeah, these puzzles, obviously, you can see the controls at the bottom. They're not they're not too difficult. I, I do the middle two. The middle two are quite easy. The last one's a bit annoying. But I leave the last one because, because of how annoying it is. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. If the ball obviously goes off a track, as you can imagine, you'll fail. Yeah, you normally get some treasure and you'll get a trophy for your first one. There you go, get the oink skull. Come down here and grab the explosive rounds from there. There's a file here, guys. Don't forget that. And grab Luther's key. Yeah, grab the key and let's do What are we on? One, one hour twelve. Okay. So we're here. I don't, know if that's, I don't know if I'm on time or not. When I did my practice run on this, I finished at about two hours fifty. Yeah, this is quite tight doing a speed run. Uh, we don't have much time to spare. We'll come, that's what I'm saying. It's not It's not a big deal if you don't do it. You can just do it on another run. It's not like a big deal. So through here, you're going to get a bit of loot from here. And uh, yes, turn left up the slope. And you've got a large crystal there on that gravestone. There we go. Large crystal. Grab that. Come back on yourself. Make sure you block these guys. On here, so Vivianite. There we go, grab that, and shoot that birdcage down so it drops 3,000 lay. Thank you. Just make your way past these enemies. There we go. And um, back down to the Duke. Back down to the Duke. You can, we can sell that shotgun now, actually. Um, yeah, we can actually sell that shotgun. But, yeah. I'm just looking where we are. So... I need, sorry guys, <laughs> I'll be one sec. I need to go to cemetery, and after cemetery, we're going to Luther's house. That's it, and then after the, yes, I got it. Yeah, let's go and get our stuff I missed by mistake. Yeah, we'll, um, Does this look familiar to you? see what 
Yeah, so you can buy two recipes now, guys. We've got the explosive rounds and the flashbangs. You can buy them now, and you can sell you can sell Angie, Vivian Knight, and Knight's Crystal. Do not sell Madalena or the necklace for two holes. Oinks, skull, ah, oink skull. And like I say, we can sell uh, the M1897. You can sell that now because you've got attack. Better shotgun. Yeah, you can sell that now. Right, so let's go and get this crab I missed. I can't believe I missed this. Can't believe it. Um, I guess we get his two goats on the way. It should be. I know the goats aren't there yet. So in there is a broken slab. I'm not going to get it because I don't do that treasure. But um, yeah, where we just came out from that elevator on the way back from Angie's, you remember we ran across that round uh, group of little gravestones like I showed you. Yeah, so one there we can use it. So here we've got to use the um, insignia key and some poultry in here, guys, and the goats. No, oh, you fucker. Oh, <laughs> come on. Yeah, two poultry here. There, where's your long? Oh, I got it. And the goat is around back. You do actually come in here later, but I, I, I like to just do it now, get out of the way. There's the goat there, guys. And you got a large crystal above this gate. There you go, grab that large crystal. Oh, we actually, we'll actually be doing map, map mathematician here as well. I didn't say that, did I, at the start? We'll be doing mathematician here, yeah. Um, right, so um, now we've got Luther's key. We're just going to go and grab a few things, which we could in earlier. And there'll be a file there as well. Through here. Shoot a lot of pipe bomb here. Yeah, have got a pipe bomb out here. Take a right. And, yeah, it's quite a lot of stuff here. Luther's house, actually. Another goat as well. Another lock here. Got an outhouse. And in the outhouse, you've got a lockpick, guys. Out here, you've got a goat on top of this little um, shelter. Goat there. Come through here. You've got gunpowder, handgun bullets, and Madalena's body. Obviously, combine that. There we go. Combine that. Out here, we're going to Luther's house now. And then there's a file just on the, near the door. There we go, just outside. Yeah, grab that file. There we go. Make sure you grab that file, guys. Do not miss that file. Right, Luther's key. Let's use that. Right, and the passcode for this. Yes, I've got it here, the passcode. Right, straight to the back on this violin. There you go. Yellow quartz. They serve quite a bit. Right, passcode, guys, is 27. 27.09. Um, 270917. There we go. In here, we're going to find some treasure and a part of the rifle. There we go. That rifle will give you full ammo as well. So wait until you've got no ammo left, and then we're going to use that part. Um, all right. So let's progress the story again. Right. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to kill. You're going to encounter a new sort of enemy time now. So basically, a big werewolf. And these, they're actually quite easy to kill, if I'm honest. And the giants, the giants we come across, they're quite hard to kill. It's an easy, I mean, it's an easy enemy on Cashel. Yeah, so just heading back up to the Duke. And I'm just going to sell some more stuff and save it. Save it now, actually. And uh, then we'll make a move. Naturally. Right, mate. Naturally. Yeah, let's, um, right, sell, 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 sell. Yeah, you can sell all that. Obviously, don't sell necklace two holes. Now, this right. Is something to splurge. Oh yeah, and we should be able to, um, to seeing the yeah, maybe, yeah, the healing items, obviously, if you can craft loads of healing stuff, do not fully craft anything until you actually need health, because like I say, yeah, I can hardly wait. they do actually, these do refill your health as well, but they do not count as a health item, so for the trophy, you can use four, but no more, this doesn't count, so you can use it four plus the meals, right, herb fish, fish, Right, can I get rid of anything else? Carry on. Right, carry on. I shall do that. Right, let's make a save. What are we on? 1 minute 17. It took me 5 minutes to do that. But I've really got to get a move on to this. I need to get to factory by about 2 hours. Right, 4 winged unborn key. There's a file in here, which I sometimes forget. Well, I've got my sniper rifle ready, so we're going to be discarding that a bit later. So I like to use it in. Right, just keep shooting them guys. 
Yeah, if you're too close, he may hit you. Right, and just go out to him. If you don't go out to him, he'll run off and hide. Just make sure when he goes up on his back feet, you block like that. So that's when he's going to attack. And just like before, when they've attacked, you've got about five seconds or so until they attack again. Right, when you killed him, Crystal Beast, come back in that house and there's a file on this corpse. There we go, that isn't a wolf. It's, <laughs> it's a crystallized wolf now. Right, uh, through here and get a grenade launcher. Right, you see iron insignia key. Right, grenade launcher. There we go, baby, come to that. Right, crate there with explosive rounds times two and there's a lock pick. Right, that's all we get in there. That crate always has explosive rounds in it, that's why I looted it. Always got to. And your grenade launcher, by the way, save your ammo until when I advise you to use it. It's the same with the Magnum. We've only got to get one more uh, weapon, the Magnum. It's the same with that, only use the Magnum when I use it. Right, shoot that. Right, what, um, that's for the M2, F2 rifle. Yes, yeah, so, oh yeah, the next, I was just thinking, so, <laughs> sorry. It's a rare occurrence when I think, but well, it does happen sometimes. I don't make sense. But, um, yeah, the next attachment, I couldn't remember what it was. And it's for the M9, it's for the pistol we've got. So, two pigs here. We're going to shoot these and loot them. Where do you think you're going? There you go, two bullets. Two bullets to the backside. And right through here, guys. Safe point if you need it. Down here and down the elevator. And there we go. Down the elevator we go. So down here we get crystal fragment, then the flask, then a herb, then the boat key. Then we go in the boat and get some fish. Get some fish and... Oh, we get a large fragment there. Then we get another outhouse. There's not many outhouses left, by the way. Yeah, I've almost got them all. Um, but the last one will be after this area. The boss... This is probably the worst boss. No... Uh, it's not the most difficult boss. What I mean is it's the most annoying boss. Yeah, I find this boss just annoying, stupid. Because um, you don't seem to do much damage until this weak point comes out. So through here and turn around and there's a crystal there, guys. Crystal fragment. Yeah, this boss, I don't really like him that much. I don't mind Heisenberg. Even on, um, even on the hardest difficulty, I don't mind Heisenberg. Just because it's something different, the way you have to kill him. You know what you can use. So skip the cutscene. There's the arms flask. Skip the cutscene straight after. Well, I am. Damn and uh, yeah, all the skewy, all the skewy stuff will um, appear. It's green slime. So um, the gate up here should be open now, so we can head through. Dirty little sneak thief. Just take what is mine. I need to rescue Rose. Right up here. Take a left, shoot down the uh, tape, obviously. Yeah, luckily we don't need any scissors for that tape. So through here, yeah, it's going to get herb and then the boat key. The herb is just sitting in the middle. It's quite hard to see, actually. Just in the middle here. And there it is. The herb, grab that. And then grab a boat key quickly off the key hook. And then quickly get out, guys, for the enemy spawning. On um, Village of Shadows, a armoured enemy spawns here. Yeah, so just heading back up now, and um, we can get in the boat because now we can start the boat. Start the boat. Yeah, so what are we on? Um, I'm thinking I could check my time, but we can't because we're not a new game plus. Right, let's go for a jolly good boat ride. Yeah, some windmills. Yeah, we're going to be climbing them in a second. Right, let's get on the wind. Uh, <laughs> let's get on the windmill. 
You can try. Or you can just get on the boat. Right, luckily it still works. And luckily the key I found was the key for this particular boat. You thought a key would be in the house right next to it, wouldn't you? Not fucking like a mile away. So, yeah, this huge... Uh, there we go. Huge fish. It's got them eyes on it from the boss at the end of Remake 2. Right, depart. Right, it's dock here. And I'm sorry, I've got my passport. I don't have my COVID test certificate. Right, so we're taking this little passage before we enter that house. You need to do this once you interact with that little doorway ahead. It starts a cutscene and you can't get back here. You'd have to reload a checkpoint. So it, it saves straight after. So make sure you come up here first, guys. So, large crystal. Uh, loot that. And there's some fish in here. There's one of them. These are quite difficult to see, by the way. There's one. And the other one, look for bubbles coming out. There we go, look for bubbles. And then come closer, crouch until the fish appears. There we go. Yeah, quite difficult to see there. There's basically two fish here. But because they're the like, rare fish, you'll get four. Yeah, they're quite difficult to see. Look for the bubbles. And then crouch towards them until they sort of show show their bodies. Or um, look for one just floating near the surface like that first one was. Right, yeah, you see here, once you travel this, there's a cutscene. And, um, and it's auto save, so make sure you get that bit before you come through. It's auto save. Right, yeah, that huge fish trying to attack us. Right, nice jump, Nathan. All right, so um, let's go and do an out outhouse. What am I supposed to do? Yes, yeah, outhouse just up here. Right, the gatehouse. The gatehouse is here. Duke is through there, by the way. So out this door, take right, and come right to the end, and you find the outhouse. There we go, and that's uh, chemical, chemical fluids. The fluid of the chemical variety. There, and over here, there's a file. I actually remember this file. There's a file here. Grab that. There's some poultry. Fucking stay this. Stay still, you little nipper. Right, and grab the rusty scrap. Three poultry. There we go. And you got a, is it a crystal fragment here or a large? Yeah, crystal fragment. Come around here. Oh, we've got another goat in a second. Come right around to the back of the windmill sort of balcony. And uh, you got a goat near the logs. There we go. Right into the windmill. Drop off the side of the ladder so you don't have to waste time climbing down it. And. Right, gotta get past this next section now. Be another goat soon. So you come across here. There's some hanger bullets on the top of this roof. There we go. And uh, over here, shoot that. Come across here. Yeah, you need to be careful. Sometimes when you're passing the um, the little um, floating debris, they'll try and kill you. So wait for them to pass. Like this one, that one before you don't have to wait. But this one, wait for them to pass. Come up here. Shoot that down. Come over here a bit more. And then shoot that one. There we go. Yeah, make sure he's not passing. And then head across. Right up here, push his cart into the water. This bit's a bit, a bit annoying because there's these little um, uh, waterways you have to raise, and they only stay raised for a certain time. It's not, you don't get much time actually. But first of all, come in here, pull this leather. Yummy, maggots, reminds me of, uh, is it Margaret? No, she's not a boss on this one. We all miss that boss. Not. Definitely not me. Right over here, pull the blue switch. Over the blue walkway, press the orange switch. There you go, and quickly make your way across. There we go. Magnum in there, Magnum at no time. So there's a go over there. There you go, you snipe rifle if you want. Pull that switch. Pull this one. Pull this one, make your way across quickly. That's it, pull that orange one. That's it, you should be able to get the way across. You pull that orange one at the end. Well, I thought he was going to jump out and kill me then. Right, when you get here, he'll pounce out, so just wait a minute before you jump onto them platforms. Then quickly get out on the left here. She's going to come across her head. 
There we go. And he'll do it again. Once he does it again, get back out in the same place. But this time, we're going straight across. Yeah, so twice you need to go in there. And then after, come straight across. And uh, over here, push your cart in the water. I don't know how this cart gets back up here in a minute. Um, because there's only one cart there before. And, uh, yeah, when you get back up, there's another one. I don't know where this comes from. I'm guessing... Oh, my goodness. I don't, yeah, I don't know where this comes from. I've not really paid attention to that. Um, but through here. And uh, get that out of the way. Up this ladder. Take a right, and uh, Ethan will make a one liner. Oh, yeah, I'll <laughs> switch first. Ethan will make a one liner. Well, oh, this is a big one. Yeah. Call myself a big one. Funny guy. Almost as fun as me. Ethan. Right. Shoot that down. Reload. I don't know, take a right, not left, right, sorry, when you go through that doorway. Shoot the padlocks, drop the ladder, climb the ladder. I'm going to get a crank up here. Crank. Yes. And we'll be at the boss in a minute, actually. Crank is take a left. But first of all, just come in and interact with this ladder. It's stupid, it makes you, if you don't interact with that, you will not be able to interact with the, um, after you take a crank, yeah, take a crank. That's it. Yeah, if you don't interact with that ladder back there, then when you take a crank, you can't interact with the slot. You have to go back and interact with that ladder in order to make the slot interactable. So once you turn that, come over here to the windmill and uh, climb the ladder, which is now complete. Sit, so climb the ladder, guys, and come over here. I'm going to go down the zip line. So exciting, exciting times. Right, use a crank. Right. Let's go and kill Moreau. Moreau. Is it Moreau? Let's go and kill it. Whatever it is, it's going to die. By my hands. I promise you that. Okay. Right, Ethan. Let's do this, mate. Me and you against the world. Ethan Winters and up to you. Okay, so um, let's do this puzzle first. Very easy puzzle, you got a picture there on the right. Basically, it's orientated a little bit differently. The way you do it, you see the picture on the right. Look look for that little bra that little black button. You see a little black light on there. Obviously, the black light correlates to your black light. So obviously, you've got to rotate the picture one time, 90 degrees, anti-clockwise. And that's the combination. It's normally the top one, blue, top middle, white, then top bottom, uh, bottom, top, top bottom, is that a thing? No, top left is blue, top middle is white, bottom left is orange, and bottom middle is blue. And that's it. Hey, presto. Power is back on. It's restored. Seems like all we ever do in Resident Evil is restore fucking power things. I should be an electrician by now. Right, so here's the Duke. What are you selling? That's your wish. What's he reading? You can read that to me later. Right. Remember, do not sell anything else apart from them treasures I did. Do not That's sell the necklace with two holes. Right. If you want to, you can refill your health right now. Yeah, because you have got enough. And... And wait. you should be able to... If you've not crafted anything else other than what I have, you should be able to craft Zorba de Pork. No, I don't know how to pronounce it. But that greatly increases your guard permanently while blocking. Yeah, should be able to make that, guys. Right. Sorted, mate. Let's make a save. Crack on. What time are we on? 1.29. Fuck, I'm, I'm late. I'm late, guys. I am late. 1.29. I'm normally doing this bit by 1.30, I think. Shit, gotta get a move on. Gotta get a move on. It's because I'm talking to you guys. It's holding him back. Right through here quickly. Uh, file in this drawer. There we go. File. 
open the suitcase and you get an attachment for the M19. Um, it's a new magazine, so I need to equip it once you've got an empty mag. Same with the sniper after one. Right, we're going to loot all this just because it's a boss here. Right, so um, just keep using the sniper rifle, guys. That's it. Just keep shooting them sniper rifle. And what you can do, you can actually use pipe bombs here as well. Obviously, try and block his attacks. Right, so, right. Use that pipe bomb. That sniper rifle. Which one that sniper? No. Oh, I almost used my fucking... Uh, grenade launcher, not use grenade launcher, use shotgun. And you're going to sniper rifle bullets. And once you recover, you can have another pipe bomb. If you don't mess up like that. That's it, let's shoot, it's weak point again. Yeah, when it comes out its mouth. That's it, once this happens, it's going to climb onto the roof. So, all you're going to do now quickly. Yeah, it's this boss, it's annoying. This is why I don't like it. I mean, it's, it's easier with him. It's much different with infinite ammo. But he's going to climb on that roof now. Once his eyes go red. So just leave him to it. We're going to quickly loot this. That's it. And quickly loot that one over there. And then you're going to wait under the shelter. That's it. We're going to wait under here now, guys. Yeah, this always happens. So I'm going to... Just use a sniper rifle. Oh, I still haven't gotten a sniper rifle ammo. Yeah, so we we'll climb down. After that's finished, you need to hide under the shelter so the rain doesn't hurt you. Just come over to him, get his attention, and Mike's going to use some mines. Get his attention and then place some mines down on him because we don't use these for anything else, basically. Oi, mate, come down here. Here he comes. Yeah, block when he comes down. Love a mine right on him. Right, here he comes. There we go. And that should make his weak point appear. There we go, he can shoot his weak point. Right, I'm going to place the other mine. And then after that, I'm going to switch to the pipe bombs. There we go. Weak point again. I've knocked him over. Right, when he recovers, I'm going to have pipe bombs. Right, he's recovered. Pipe bomb time. Right, shotgun again. There we go, guys. Yeah, so that boss is—it's it's just really—it's really finicky. You just—I mean, we're on casual. It's not too difficult. Just use your sniper rifle first, and then and then use your shotgun and pipe bombs and mines. You want to try and hit him when his weak point is sticking out. That's what pipe bombs and mines are for to stun him and make him show his weak point. You know, his body coming out of his mouth. But do not use your Grenade launcher, we want to save them for later. And once you killed him, you'll get the Crystal Moreau. Right, and I'll quickly grab his loot as well. So, shotgun, mines, and some hangar bullets. You always grab that loot afterwards as well. Some nice loot there. The exit's up ahead. Right, exit's up ahead, apparently. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? Twat. Got more, look, got nine sniper rifle bullets there. Yeah, don't forget about the attachment. Same for the pistol. Um, I'll save that for later, actually. Right, so we're heading up through here now. There's a file in here. And the key. File is on there. There we go. And let's grab the key. There you go. Examine it. You'll get a six-wing key. That's the last key we need. Right, thank you. Six-winged unborn key. Right, let's go. Back out here. Take a left. Use a six-winged unborn key on that. You know, I think I might struggle to get under three hours, so I'm going to have to get a move on. Pop, I can I can make some time back in the factory, actually. Yeah, because on my last run when I did 2 hours 50, I was using shotgun on the enemies there, when it's quicker if you use an explosive round followed by a shotgun. Right down here, there's a file in this house. Yeah, I bet some of you thought I forgot this. There's a file in here. I get it now, because before there's lichens, but if you come back now, there's no lichens, and you have to come down here anyway to get a goat and some fish so that crate there that barrel's got flashbangs times two always has them so grab them come over here and there's a goat up there i forget what number goat that is right two fish hidden in here and they're really well hidden 
I hate this swamp. Oh, there's one. Just wait and they should show themselves. There's one. Where's you there? Now look for bubbles or look for a fish showing itself. Can't see anything. Right, I can't see. There's another fish here somewhere. But you've got a treasure here, guys. And you've got the... What treasure is it again? Silver. I think it's a silver. Why oh, it's not? Oh, don't glitch on me now. Yeah. Right, where's the... There's another fish in here somewhere. Come on, fucking making me waste time. Oh, I think this one doesn't appear until you go really close to it. Oh, there we go. Guys, attention now. It's spam. It's... Sitting right at the back. Right. This is stupid. Why? Is he over there? There he is. Look, oh, yeah, I can see his bubbles now. Oh, there, there he is. Look how hard he was to see. Right, that's it, guys. You'll know if you've got them all because there'll be a cross on the icon on the map. Right, we've got everything, guys, that we need down in Moreau's bit. Make sure you got all this because when you go back up on the lift, you cannot come back down here, guys. So very important you get everything that you need to now. And if you miss a goat, if you miss a goat, I think, yeah, you know the goat from earlier on. You can shoot it from here. It should be on top of there. So, yeah, you can actually shoot that goat from here. Right, where am I going? Yes, back into the mines. The mines and let's go back up on that elevator. Um, I wonder what time we're on that. So yeah, we've got everything we need. We're gonna go and get the Magnum now. The Magnum, like I say, ammo is limited for the Magnum, so we need to make sure we save that ammo. Uh, yeah, it's gonna do Labyrinth now as well. And then don't forget a file. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get Mermaid, Magnum ammo, file, Wolfsbane, kill another beast, do a Labyrinth, poultry, blood ruby, meat um, yeah we're going to Otto's Otto's we're going to Otto's mill next I don't know we might I might make two hours um, before I get to factory the thing is I've got to do that boat section and that boat section takes about five ten minutes by itself where you, it's like an optional set op, optional part where you get to um explore in the boat uh, but yeah, we cannot go back down now, guys. So once come up on the lift, that is it. Why? What? One hour thirty six. Bollocks. <laughs> Gotta get a move on. Right. Um, you know what I might do? I might leave. Crank, crank on that. In when we go into um, the factory, I kill almost every single enemy there. But what I might do if my time is looking really tight, I may have to kill some enemies. I may have to kill some when we get there. We will see. Right, let's go through this, guys. I've just um, I've just stopped the video and started playing again, just see how we're doing. And um, it is a bit okay, and I realised I didn't have headphones in, so you can hear the um, game audio in the background. Um, apologies for that. I'm, I'm going to try and match it up well. So just got the mermaid ball here. We've got magnum ammo, guys. I'm going to head into and get the actual magnum itself now. There's a bit of extra loot around this area, but it's nothing of great importance. And um, I can't have both my headphones in, it just sounds weird. Right through here, and it's going to be a lichen in here, which is going to blow him away with a shotgun blast. There we go, and there's the magnum, guys. And there's a file here. There you go, grab that file, unlock this door. Right, and get your um, shotgun ready, if you need it to kill a wolf. The wolf will spawn around here now. There he is. So I'm just going to use my rifle. Remember, when he goes in his back legs, it's when he's going to shoot. And once he's shot and hit, hits you, he won't attack for about between 5 and 10 seconds, as you can see. Right. Shotgun time. He's dead. Yeah, loot him for the crystal beast. There we go, thank you. That sells for 20,000, can you believe it? 20,000. I'm a millionaire, no, not quite, but it gives you quite a bit. Um, so that's the thing, we've got the, we've got a file from there. We've got the Magnum, oh shit, Labyrinth, almost got Labyrinth. Right, I'm gonna quickly do this Labyrinth, we're not gonna do no more after this one. So this last one we're gonna do, so 
we're going to place the mermaid ball inside. Yeah, we got that a bit, that bit just then. I didn't mention it until afterwards. Um, it's just before the magnum ammo um, up here over the water wheel. Yep, and um, yeah, this bit, it's only really one bit you can mess up. I mean, you can mess up on that water wheel. Well, yeah, I guess technically. Right here, obviously, there's a gap there in the floor. Make sure it's tilting away from the gap. And here, just sort of wiggle it down there. All the way down to the bottom. You can rotate it around. You can see it better. There you go. And into the goal. Hole in one. Mini golf. Little labyrinth. Right. Get a char tree skull or something. Right. So um, we've got poultry. Pigeon blood ruby. We've got a crank now as well. So we're going to go and do the... We're going to go and do... um. Uh, the stronghold now actually um, I mean first first going to do the poultry and pigeon blood ruby um, I'd be I'm very interested to see what time we're on very very interested right so um, almost went past it we're going over here first yeah we're going over here you see that poultry in the corner there in the south west corner because now we can open this door with a crank and there we go what I think I might do, guys, is when we do knife only, I may collect all the files again. And I may show you where all the goats are. So in case you have missed anything in this play, you can collect it all on the knife only. And I'll also do the outhouses and the windows as well. There, guys, I think. Just so if you did miss them, I'll show you all there as well. Because um, we do mostly go for it again on um, knife only as well. Poultry here. Another one there. There we go, up this ladder. And there'll be a pigeon bird ruby. That's what you combine with the necklace with not one hole, the one with two. Two holes. Right, there we go. Thief. Glad he died, nicking that. Right, yeah, you can combine this. Um, where is it? Uh, yep, yeah, combine. There's one more thing to combine with that, guys. So don't sell it just yet. Still some more, one more thing to combine. Right, so let's go into, we're going straight into the stronghold. There's going to be some goats on the way. And we'll get a trophy for knife and an arrow. We'll do that now, actually. Two goats here. There's one. And the other one should be about somewhere. Yeah, get the meat from him. There he is. Where's he going? Where you going, mate? Bet. Yeah, you won't be doing better anymore. You're bed for the rest of your life now. Right, a bird cage there. Yeah, that's got rusted scrap inside, I believe it is. Yes, grab that. Right up here, open this door. With the six-winged umbonki, which we now own. Yeah, we now own the six-winged umbonki. Right, Otto's Mill. Good luck. Thank you. Let's take a left. Yeah, so Otto's Mill's just appeared. There's a goat inside and there's a note upside. I can remember most of this, you know, I'm not actually looking at my notes that much. I mean, you, you guys can tell, I'm not really looking down that much, am I? Uh, goat, yeah, unless the notes are tapped, unless I've got like a little screen behind the screen I'm playing on. So it looks like I'm looking at you guys, but I'm actually looking at the notes behind you. So, another padlock. Shoot that off, piggy. Boy, where are you going? Babe, you dead. Right, loot him. And loot this crystal fragment on there. Right, let's go up here. Right, switch to Magnum now. We're going to use the Magnum briefly. We're going to be selling the sniper soon, by the way. Um, but switch to the Magnum. Right, this guy, shoot him in the back three times and he's dead. One, two, three. That's it, three times and he will be dead. Now, around the back here, shotgun shells. Yeah, must be in the back, guys. I think the back is his weak point, actually. Oh shit, I fucking almost threw that. Right, I need to short. I thought I shortcutted the Magnum. Sorry, I thought I shortcutted the Magnum. Right, one of these crates has two exploder rounds. Yes, it's that one there. Always got explosive rounds. Right, once you've got them, come over here. Loot. Look at that beast. Giant crystal axe. Right, shoot the three padlocks off. They really didn't want nobody entering that room. Right, herb. Meat on here. And some poultry. And there's some fish as well. Some more here. Just loot it all. Metal scrap there, and some note on there. Very important, guys. Make sure you get that note. 
On here, you got a statue, Father Nicholas's angel. On here, you got gunpowder. Right, we're all done in the auto smell. Let's go. Yeah, you need to come here for the map and map and trophy. Right, just block around this guy, piss off. Go my face, stupid like him. Where's the slayers when you need it? Right, up here is we're gonna swap to our knife and we're gonna knife a arrow and get a trophy for it as well. Yeah, how awesome! Exactly the same trophies from Resident Evil 5. Why? It's a fucking stupid trophy. That did not hurt. Right, so if you take too long, you're doing the speed ring, you just reload, but it's I mean, I should be able to do it quick enough. Right, so I come over here, and I use him over there. As soon as you hear that ping, Dick, that guy's in the way. Oh, fucking hell. You piss off. Right, come on, lob a knife. Come on, mate, I need to get going. As soon as you hear that, as soon as you hear it, no, there we go. Yeah, as soon as you hear it sort of release, you know, like, ping, just knife, and uh, normally, as long as it's sort of close to you, you should hit it. I mean, I was nowhere near it, it's to the right. But I still pop the trophy. Right, be careful these guys. Obviously, don't get too close. Hang on ammo there, just in case you need it for anything. Up the ladder. Yeah, I think it's 30 hang on ammo there. Some, some are crazy. Like that. Right, up here, pull the lever, quick. Pull the lever. Now, Ethan. Yeah, use your bad hand. Should have used your good hand, mate. Shotgun shells over here. Times four. No oh, shit. Oh, I thought he was going to knock me off. Oh, and he did. Shit, should have gone around the left. Right, move out my fucking way. Uh, leather. Yeah, sniper off armor there, but I don't really need it. Right, knock that down. Right, just got to wait now, guys. All you can do while you wait for that to come down, get a load of them around the barrel and then shoot it. you got to kill three at once, I think, with a barrel to get a trophy. There you go, there's quite a few barrels here. Fucking hell, they're going mad. Right, and boom, thank you, strat strategist. Yes, I know, <laughs> I know. Fucking hell, how many? I should have got that trophy three times at least. Right, are we reloaded? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, this boss and he dies in three magnum shots to his head or something. Right, through here, and can't skip that cutscene. Right, I need to turn the page. Right, pipe bomb here. I want that. Save your pipe bombs for later, by the way. And your Vivianate. Yeah, pipe bombs, we need two for later. So save them. We get one there, and we get another one a little bit later. Yeah, save them, guys. Please. Please, I beg you. This must be the death. Yeah, save the pipe bombs. If you don't have a pipe bomb, basically it means you're going to be wasting an explosive round, which you don't want to do. Right. Shit, I wasn't blocking bollocks. Never mind. Right, fuck off. Up here, an explosive round on there. Grab that. Explosive round off the bow. Oh shit! Got to press X. Yeah, make sure you press X on the zip line. That's what the yellow pen is for to highlight it to you. Games they always seem to they always seem to use like a yellow colour to highlight something you can grab, don't they? Always it's always yellow, most of the time. I guess in a lot of games I've played recently. Okay, right. Make your way past this. Quickly get around the back. It's Magnum Ammo on the left here. There it is. And a gunpowder. Yes, grab them. Magnum Ammo and a gunpowder, guys. Very important. Make sure you grab them. Down here, it's Metal Scrap. And a go to the bottom. I've played this scene too many times. I don't remember what it's where. Yeah, it's a crate. There is a crate. I don't get it. I think, like I say, some crates are random. Um, right, goat. Thank you. Through here next. Right, got, I've got a few seconds. Let me turn the page in my notebook. Right, um, where are we? We That should have been goat number 15, by the way, guys. That should have been, yeah, goat number 15. There's a file in here and explosive rounds, which we want. Explosive rounds, a file, there it is. File on the floor, very easy to miss, I guess, that one. What time are we at? 1.48. 
I might make this. I think we might. I might make two hours in the factory. I might do this. Right, boss is down here. So like I say, three or four magnum shots to his head normally kills him. But first, while we're waiting, yeah, down here, just going to loot the area quickly. So, pipe bombs, handgun ammo, and then just grab all this shit over there. Shotgun ammo here. Yeah, just grab it all. Right, he's up there. Just block until he drops down, guys. And then when he drops down, three or four magnum shots to his face, and he will be KO'd. And then we'll loot his body. Right, come down to my level, mate. Right, S1. Is it going to take you three or four? Yeah, like I say, it normally takes three or four. No, it's going to take four. There we go. You know, it may be three magnum shots and a shotgun, one shotgun blast may be enough. Because it may be that he's got like a tiny bit of health left after that third hit. Um, but I just used that last one on him. Right, after that, right, switch to your pistol. Loads of treasure in here, guys, so we're going to get it. Right, there's one there. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Okay, missed it. So, six guys. I've shot down six treasures. And, yeah. You know when you got them all, so it'll go red. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, so we go blue. Yeah, so I shot down six treasures. So, that's how many there is. Yeah, I shot down six, but it's actually one on the left we don't have to shoot down, I think. Right, let's get that cut. See, we've got the last flask. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Right, skip. Right, treasure down here. Treasure, treasure. Yeah, the um, googly are the most polite. Right, come on. Let's do this, Ethan. Ten minutes left to get to the factory to be on time. Yeah, to be on time. Uh, where are we? Where am I going? Yeah, that's it. Get out. Right, so over here, before we go up the ladder, we're going to take a little detour down this into the cell area. And um, there's a file down here and some shotgun shells we're going to grab. The file straight ahead on that table. There we go, and the shotgun shells over here, along with a pipe bomb. You know, we get plenty of pipe bombs, don't we? We should have plenty. Right, just make your way past these guys. Fuck off. Ah, that worked. I guess that maybe works a bit better. Right, up here. Right, we're out, guys. We're back in the courtyard. Oh, yeah, we've got to kill that bloody massive beast. Almost forgot about him. This is the thing when you're talking, you know, when you're talking, it's hard not to forget things. So you talking and um, you know trying to explain things and it's it's a lot to keep track of you know it is right there's a huge alpha werewolf in here there he is remember he'll attack when he gets on his back feet there we go so just block there we go he takes a lot more to kill this is the alpha male the alpha of the pack just keep trying to get headshots on him use the shotgun guys do not waste magnum because it's quite an easy enemy because it's quite easy, you know when he's going to hit, especially on casual. He got like a massive, in between attacks, he got a massive window. Yeah, he's an ugly mother son of a bitch. Mother son of a bitch, yeah. I just said that. He's talking to me, walking left and right. Right. Go on. I was going to say one more. I should have said it, because I was right. I, honestly, I was going to say one more. And it was. I should have said it. I thought, no, I best not. There's a gunpowder there, but I'm not taking it. Do not need the gunpowder. Right. Let's go to the boat section, and then let's go to the factory, guys. Whew, almost there. Right. Um, I think we can almost make everything now. We can almost make all the foods. So we're going to head up to the Duke. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. If you miss files, guys, or go to outhouses or windows, don't worry. I think I'm going to show it all on... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to show him on the ah, knife run, yeah, just in case yes. anyone missed it here. Um, okay. So, 
sell all the treasures except for the ones we can still um, combine. Crystal Ancient Beast, 8,000. Every time you play a game, you want to always kill that. Yeah, necklace with one hole. Do not sell that. We can sell everything else. Oh, got some goodies. Got a lot of money now. Right, I need some health, so I'm just going to purchase something. Right, let's get that one. Free flavoured my titty. My titties. Yeah, I'll take that. Free flavours. A lot of taste in there. That will refill my HP as well. Bingo. Thank you. I wouldn't mind having that again. Right, obviously, don't don't actually put the ingredients in until you're ready to use it because you'll use it automatically. Yeah. Right, what time are we at? Um, one fifty-two. We can do this, guys. I can get to factory in two. Oh yeah, I did forgot to do this as well before. So use all the flasks on the giant's chalice here. Yeah, this is a giant's chalice. Use all the flasks here. Arms flask. Right, let's give it some legs. And then let's put the head inside. Right, and um, where are we going to place Giant's Chalice? It's fucking massive. Oh, I know, Ethan will put it in his back pocket. Look at that beast. Oh yeah, let me just lob it in the lob it in my little suitcase. What the? I just put a bloody massive chalice in my suitcase, but lanterns magically lighting? No, that is not possible. Right, uh, use Louisa's key here, guys. There we go. Good to get Caesar's goblet, the Holy Grail. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But we'll grab it to itself a bit. Right, we're going to get a goat now. We actually missed this goat earlier. There we go. We get him when we come down here. Get that little goat down the back there. Right, put a crank down. Oh, we're going to get a last outhouse here as well, guys. Last outhouse. Right, where? Bing, bong, bing. Right, let's go, Ethan. Right, first we'll head to the north. Is it north? I think, yeah. First we'll head north and we'll do the um, outhouse. We'll get that last treasure to put in the necklace with two holes. Well, it's necklace with one hole now. Um, we'll do the um, little puzzle in the little, um, I don't know, like a little tomb sort of place, resting ground. And then we'll go down and um, we'll go in the cave, get the last fish. And then we can craft everything, even the um, movement speed. The movement speed thing, it does help, but it's not like really fast. It's not like you just go from like speed you at now to like fucking Sonic or something. Yeah, I guess it's probably like a small bit, like 10, 10 to 15 percent boost or something. Right, no, the crank, I think the crank might fit that. Yes, I was correct. Can't believe I didn't put headphones in before. Because I'm. I record this separately. I record the footage on the PlayStation separately to my um, commentary and my webcam. So I normally have to match it up on the video. So it's going to be tricky matching that up so all the sounds are exactly the same. And um, right through here, there's file in here, guys. There we go. Grab that file out this window. Right, let's just get this well coming up first. Use the well wheel. Right, and the last outhouse. There it is. Yeah, you got a trophy. And the gunpowder. When you go to go. You got to fucking go. Funny thing is, I never used any of them outhouses, did I? Ethan never has to take a leak. So, the bottom of this ladder. Yeah, it's quite a long ladder. Is it going to end? Yeah, it's a lockpick right at the base. There we go. Someone dropped it when they're climbing up. Right, make your way up these fucking. Whatever this room is, some sort of trap room. Right up here. Make sure everyone turn the top, the white ones at the top, turn them off, but leave the green ones on basically. Grab these shotgun shells over there, over here, push this car out of the way. Yeah, that little puzzle, the three that are green, leave them on, and the two white ones at the top, deactivate them. And then you can do this, push this minecart across, push this minecart into the middle, and they can use it as a means to climb up. 
I'll just move a bit closer to be closer to the mic. To be closer to you guys. Right. Um, smash that crate. ER. Explosive round times one. Flashbang times two. Magnum ammo. Great. And the large pigeon blood ruby. Thank you. And we can combine that now. Yes. Awesome. Dimitri Dimitrisk's necklace. That will sell for 50,000. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have 50,000. Can you believe it? Yeah, 50,000. It's quite a lot. It goes from like 2,000 to like 50,000. Right, all the way up. What goes down must go up. But what's the other way around? Right, through the window. It will go up to the. Um, right, going to here now. Oh no, no, that's the wrong one. Back across the bridge and then up the path. Up the steps to the um, little. I don't, yeah, like I say, look, it's part of the castle, isn't it? Little um, basement place in the castle. Right, through here. First, got to light the lanterns. Oh no, going back into Castle Demetresque. Oh, she's dead anyway. It's my castle now. Right, got to light these. Boom. And this one over here. Boom. There we go. Once you've done that, you can grab this shotgun ammo. Come in here, grab this money. Loads and loads of money. There we go. Loads of it. Take it all. Right, got to bring him in here now. But we're going to light him first. Whee! <laughs> it knocked him out almost. Right, then um, he's going to come in here. Come on, mate. Come with me. And he's going to light that for me. Then I'm going to knife. Then I'm going to shoot him. You're dead, mate. Right. Get this statue. Golden Lady statue. And the Magnum Ammo. The Golden Lady. Do you remember the big statue of the Golden Lady? Back in the house in that puzzle. Above the pool of blood. Yeah, it's the same lady, isn't it? Is it Lady Dimitrescu? I don't know. Um... But these both these optional but these bits are optional by the way. Well I've gone. Do not miss the dock. Yeah, there's no um these optional boat sections, there's no goat here. Obviously you got some files. Well that file technically you can get that earlier in the game. But there's one file at the other end. There's no goats here. The next goats are in the factory. Um Yeah, I'm just looking, just seeing where, how we're doing, guys. Don't mind me. Yeah. Yeah, we should be on, after this file, we should be on 36. But like I say, if you missed any, when I do knife run, I know the um, the goats won't be visible, but I'll make, I'll make a note of them. Whenever we pass a place where a goat is, I'll say, there's a goat there. And here, guys, there's another goat. Uh, there's another goat here. Yeah, I'll try and point them all out to you. Right, um, oh, it's a dolphin. No, it's a fish. Right, you got the finest fish that I've ever seen in my life. You got the finest fish and two normal fish there to collect. And that should be everything we need to craft everything, guys. Um, but like I say, with the, um, with the meals, the ones that heal your health permanently, you want to wait until you actually need to use them before you use them because they're like, they could, they're free heal without actually using um, one of the heals for no, for heal, for doing the speed without heal. So you got explosive rounds, flashbangs, you got antique coin, you got attachment there for the M870 TAC, and you got a file on the laptop and some handgun bullets. Yes, we did pick up a mine as well, but I didn't really mention them. I don't, with the mines, I never like to really get them, but fuck. Got so much crap. I need to sell my sniper rifle, guys. That's why. I've normally I've normally sold the sniper rifle by now, but I forgot. Yeah. I've normally sold the sniper rifle by now. What I keep for this game, I keep the pistol we've got the M19, I keep the shotgun we have, I keep the magnum, and I keep the grenade launcher. I sell everything else eventually, like the starting pistol, the first shotgun you get. And um, yeah, the sniper rifle. I sell all that. But everything I've just mentioned, that's what I keep. Right, so um, I've just got to try and. Uh, am I going to have enough space? Yeah, I'm just thinking I've got enough space for anything we create on the way to the Duke in the factory, where I can sell all my crap I've got. 
I'm going to say hello to my handgun butts. Yeah, do not sell shotgun ammo or magnum or grenade ammo, but you can sell all your handgun butts when we get there next. Right, so um, I think I'm doing good on time. I think I've made a bit of time back, guys. So I think I can get this in three hours. I'm, I was hoping to get 245, What's going on? but I'm not sure if I can do that. We'll, we will see. I'm hoping to get 245. So here we've got a place, that beast of a chalice in its slot. Right, where is it? Where did I put our chalice? I'm sure it can't be hard to find. Right, and um, big cutscene, guys. And the waiter factory will be revealed. There we go. Reminds me, that reminds me of the um, the scene in Resident Evil 1 where the water drains. Right, it was. Oh, for a minute there I was thinking, why is the lift not descending? Because he had to close the roof. I don't, I don't know. Some reason like that. Right, so, um, yeah, I make the way to the Duke. And then we'll have a quick, we'll have a quick sell up, guys, to where we are with things. Yes. Yes, let's do this. So there is a save point just before we go into the factory, by the way. Because there's... There's a few sequences and a few sections where you get chased. Right, where's the um? Where am I looking? Oh, there we go. Look at now, I can't find it. No, don't worry Come. about the kid either. It'll be fine. Let's see what time. <sighs> two two. I think I'm. Yeah. We'll we'll do this, guys. We'll do this. I did waste a bit of time in the factory before because I was using shotgun on the soldats when I should have been using the um. Should have been using the grenade launcher. Yeah, grenade launcher on the soldier. If you hit him in a weak point on casual with an explosive round, it kills him in one hit if you hit him in the weak point. Um, so I guess the impact damage damages him as well. So he got a, what's that, Russia scrap? Can't remember, picked up too quick. Uh, Russia scrap there and a metal scrap here. Come through here and um, got chem chemical fluid guys there. Well, gun no, sorry, gun fire. Uh, Fuck. Gunpowder, chem fluid in the next one. So here's the chem fluid. There we go. And uh, intro of this for a cutscene. Right, and uh, run for your life, mate. Run for your life. Yeah, on this on this uh, run sequence, as on uh, Village of Shadow, it's actually enemies blocking your way. Yeah, can you believe that? Yeah, so um, let's go and take the trash out. Yeah, that's my one liner. Time to take out the trash. Uh, that'll be you, Ethan. Okay, yeah, can't skip that cutscene. There's four things to collect here. Three enemies on top. So these enemies, guys, if you shoot them in the head, it won't kill them in one hit. But if you can get if you can get a chest shot with a shotgun, like a good chest shot, where they sort of impact the whole of the um, slug, then it'll kill him in one hit. So gunpowder, and we just got a rush of scrap before as well. Up here, and you've got a metal scrap in the bottom of this car. You got a rusher scrap just over here, and then let's climb up, up the ladder. Up the ladder we go. Just checking the time. Right, so three enemies here. Remember chest shots, guys. There we go. Oh, I guess maybe waist. Maybe hit him in the waist is better, because sometimes when you aim for the chest, sometimes it hits the head. Yeah, so I'll probably go for waste. Yeah, if you you'll find if you aim, you can try it. Aim for the head, and it'll just hit that visor, um, that Robocop visor they're wearing, and um, that will like protect them a bit, like a bit of a shield, and you'll have to hit them again. But shoot them in the waist, I guess, in the waistline, blowing their dick off seems to kill them in one hit. I mean, of course it would. But um, up here, wow, this place is messed up. It is. You've only just got everything. Maybe. Look around for each judge of the place. So, switch to your um, pistol and shoot one of these guys down that are floating. Okay, why is it not working? Oh, there we go. You'll get them eventually, guys. Just try and shoot one of them down. Um, if you waste too much time, just restart. Right, let's see what we can sell. Some goodies. Right, so polycrystal, yep. Yeah. Antique coin, yep. Yeah. Dimitri's necklace, well, 50,000. The Golden Lady statue, goblet, and handgun ammo. Let's get rid of almost all of that shit. Far too much. 
Oh, we sell a sniper rifle as well. We we'll sell the first aid meds. There we go. You do want to keep a, like a stack of handgun ammo just in case. Sell that sniper rifle ammo. Don't need it. Right, and where's the sniper rifle? F2 rifle. Do not need it, guys. Get rid of that. Right, and a recipe. Right, let's make the movement speed one. I've got one more recipe to make. I was going to use that a bit later when I need to um, heal. And um, we can actually buy the last um, baggage upgrade now. We can buy the last baggage upgrade, guys. Here it is. Here it is. Thank you, the Duke. Services are greatly appreciated. Supplies, last baggage, guys, 50,000. Right. Uh, save point. How am I doing? Two minutes, 05. Right. We're good to go, guys. Let's go and um, head into the factory. Head to the middle of the factory, more like. So there's some tough enemy types here. They're, they're not really tough, but they can do a lot of damage. You know, make sure you heal them. There's gunpowder here. Shoot that lock, that red one. And it's going to be a few enemies here. Remember, waste shots, I guessed. It used to be chest shots. That's what I used to do. But waste shots seem to be doing a lot better. Because with a chest shot, you can sometimes hit the head. But with a waste shot, you seem to always hit them in the chest properly. And they seem to take the full impact off the slug. So they die in one hit. So there's going to be a few more through here. In the... In the groin, shoot them in the groin. There we go, works every time. One hit to the groin. Right, this is the foundry, the furnace area. So we're gonna take a left, come up here. Right, shoot him in the bottom, lock pick. I don't know if I'm gonna one hit kill him. Yeah, you used lock pick on that fridge. No, it didn't, so I think I shot him in his weapon. See that? All right, and uh, yeah, see, because it's shooting their weapon, they're not taking full impact. In there is the yellow court, so we unlocked that that looted from him through here. And you got a wrist of scrap times one. Right, you want your rocket launch now, guys. We're gonna be using rocket launcher quite a bit here. Um okay, so I'm gonna quick slot that to the downer. Right, rocket launcher, you want flame rounds, make sure you got flame rounds. Right, remember these guys, like I said, they die. In, if you can hit them in a weak point with an explosive grenade round, it'll kill them in one hit. But if it doesn't hit a weak point, normally it'll stagger them. Then after that, one shotgun blast to the weak point will finish them off. So it's either an explosive round close to them, and then one shotgun to the weak point, or one explosive round to the weak point, and that'll kill them. Right, so um, come on, mate. There we go. See, I obviously didn't quite hit him. Right, and, oh, completely, oh, wasting bullets now, wasting bullets. Right, what you can do, um, obviously when they're guarding, yeah, loot them, their treasure cells for quite a bit. Yeah, when they're guarding, um, obviously you can shoot them to knock the guard away, or you can wait for them to attack, and then counter attack, and that, no that knocks the guard down, guard down for a minute. Um, I just wait to counter attack, and I realise I need to be quick. Um, so we've got the relief mold in there, which got from the suitcase. And while that's um, molding, we're going to grab that rusty scrap, uh, come through here, and destroy this crate. Three thousand eight, and this one's here, random. Oh, I've got three shotgun ammo, and it should still be forming. There we go. And then grab it, relief of the horse, and there's also a chem through it there, which I wanted to get. Right. So um, place the relief of a horse on here, guys. Right up here. There we go, waste shot, finish them off. That's it, ran here. Use the lock pick on here to get some magnum ammo, very important. Magnum ammo. There we go, thank you. Now, you can let these machines kill the enemies, but I'm not gonna hang around here. I'm just gonna get straight through quickly. Yeah, can you let the machines kill the enemies you wanna save ammo? Okay. And there's an explosive round right there in the corner. Just there is an explosive round. Right, let's get a move on. Yeah, we'll kill him, watch. Looted him. Right. I'm wasting I think I'm wasting a bit too much time here. Right, it's one more. 
That's it. Killed him in one hit. Basically, you have to get a. You have to get like um. Oh shit! Ouch! That took off the back of my ass cheeks. Yeah, you have to get a sort of a full blast on their body. They have to take full impact for it to be one hit kill. If some of it hits their weapons or misses them, then just quite count. Rush is grab times one. Let me make sure you grab that, guys. Um, where are we? A uh, secret area down here somewhere. Right. Yeah, you're gonna want pipe bombs in a minute, guys. Secret area. Uh, pipe bombs. Where is it? I've still got that mag. Let's attach that before I forget to the pistol. Right, there we go. Right, where's this pipe bomb? Yeah, it's going to equip that. Because there's a secret area. This is where we needed to release. There you go. Can't miss it. X marks the spot. Shotgun ammo. And it gets mechanical cylinder. Sells for... Don't sell it. We've got to combine it for another bit. And then it sells for quite a lot. Right down here. Through here. And we're going to get a factory map. Yeah, shoot this soccer. Use pistol to shoot them off don't waste your good ammo through here and you got a factory map there you go factory map you've got a file there we go file guys do not miss that file you got the cog mold there we go unlock this door and head through here Un reload your rocket launcher you're going to need it in a minute there you go I thought I hit him this weak point, maybe it didn't quite um, come on quick enough. Right, we need to make the cog. Cog mold, here we come. Right, let's reload while we're waiting. Um, that's reloaded. Reload on magnum. Right, so after the cog mold. Yeah, when you kill them enemies with the weak points, always loot the body afterwards because they drop. Yeah, like I say, the crystal mechanical heart, I think it's called, sells for quite a lot. So, over here, use a large cog. And there we go. I need to keep checking my notes. I need to make sure you do not miss a file or a goat. Don't want to mess up this run now. Right, down here, switch to grenade launcher. Going to need it in a minute. Don't don't waste more than one grenade launcher on these enemies, by the way. Gunpowder there. Right, so I'm just going to block him, deflect him. Okay, so I well, always take quite a bit to kill these. Okay. Got him. Right through here next. Round here. There's going to be another one of them in a second, so make sure you've got your explosive round ready. These are good because that like stuns them. Oh my god, I completely missed him. See, one hit. I don't know what happened that first time. It's as if I was too close to him. It didn't work. Uh, right, got that. Into this room next. In this crate. Flashbangs times two. They're always in there. Large crystal up there. Got a large crystal. Up the stairs next, guys. Reloads. There's going to be another one of them enemies in a second. Just around here. There he is. He's dead. Right. And uh, open this door. Bang, bang. There we go, open that door. Right, lob a flashbang in here, since one of them enemies. Lob it in there, it will damage him and wake him up. Or you could lob a pipe bomb, but you have to shoot some in there just to wake him up, because we want the loot in there. There he is, he's waking up. Right, and he'll knock his fence down. And explosive round to you, mate. Ah, oh, look at that. One hit, one kill. Right, grab all this loot. Yes, there's loot that falls on the floor. There's basically four 3,000 money bags there. Right around here, going to kill these enemies now. And um, just make sure we're in the right area, guys. Oh, it's magnum ammo on there as well. Did we get the magnum ammo? Yeah, there's also two magnum ammo on there, but looks like I got it. Yeah, um, I think I did. Right, so um, let's kill these guys. Don't think he died, or him. Right, that's it, kill them, round this corner. Switch back to the pistol. There's a treasure up there, guys, on the wall, in that crack. There we go, yellow quartz. 
come up here and I switch the explosive round ready. This this one is a bit strong. He's got ba basically he's got like a double drill arm. This guy. And its weakness is actually on his back. Yeah, it's actually on his back. So but we can do him hit him and then hit him with shotgun round that should finish him off. Right, this cage is some shotgun ammo. There we go. And uh, Lewis body, he's got a large crystal mechanical heart. This sells for quite a lot, that does. Right, shoot these off. Yeah, large crystal mechanical heart. Shoot them off, come across here, press a switch. There we go, and shoot that treasure over there, make it fall down. There we go, make that fall down. Let's draw some shotgun shells. There we go, and um, yes, up here, guys. Here's here. another one of them enemies here, by the way. Here he is. You can hit this when he gets close to stun him. There you go. And you sort of, there's, it's quite tight around this corridor, so you have to come around from behind. That's it. That thing actually, it actually damages him as well. Um, but I'm surprised he died with two shotgun shells. I thought I was going to have to hit him with an explosive round as well. Smash them. Through here, guys. That spinner's going to come through here. There he is. So you've got to escape. Escape from him. I normally always run into him. I normally forget where I am. I'm surprised I remember this time. Right. Let's open it. I think I'm taking a bit too long on this. Right, quickly through this area. Got rusted scrap, metal scrap, and gunpowder. Right through here next, guys. Right, and um, up there is a goat. You see that little goat there? Shoot that. And um, yeah, next we've got that's goat 17, by the way. Goat 17, three left. Got a long way to go. Oh, well, how are we doing for ammo? Yeah, so uh, next crystal fragment, large crystal. Yeah, so through here next, guys. And um, oh, yeah, I know where we are now. So there's a bird cage through here. Um, it's random what it has, but we pass it, and sometimes it's got a shotgun shell, so I'll just shoot it down. This one here, I don't know, I had lay, I think. Right, you've got a crystal fragment here, and a large crystal on the other side. Let's get rid of these guys. Uh, there should be one more somewhere. There he is. Right, loot that polycrystal skull, loot him. Right, and then head for his vent. And once you get through here, guys, you want your pipe bomb. If you don't have pipe bombs, you can just use the explosive round, but it saves waste in them, because they're pretty good. That's it, the lobby pipe bomb down there. Grab all this treasure, there's four, you've got yellow quartz, and um, Vivia Knight, and two large crystals, I think. Now here, shoot that. There you go, that one up there. Shoot that one there. If you can't quite get the angle right, I mean, if I can, you can. Um, but it gets a bit easier as you get closer to them. That one there. And that last one, we're going to shoot when we're right at the top. Now, these enemies, um, they drop the large crystal mechanical heart. But they've got to... These guys take ages Another to kill. One. So you think they... Yeah, I've got to risk the scrap then. You think they drop like a really good treasure, but it's just the same as some guys with the double drill arms. But the only thing is, these guys take much longer to kill. So, yeah, make sure you block when you go by. I was blocking. Yeah, sometimes they still catch you even when you're blocking. I don't know why. Go so you block. Um, so, that's it. Last one. When you've got them all, the um, fan will stop spinning around. And if you quickly get up this ladder, there you go. Yeah, you can take damage when you're climbing ladders. As I just did then. Yes, you can stay down. That's pretty close. Yeah, be careful. Obviously, it doesn't stun you when you're climbing a ladder, but you do still take damage. Yep, okay, up here, we're going to get a file in a minute and the factory map. Through here. And up the stairs. Yeah, just on the left here. So, 
factory uh, fi uh, file there you see we just got a factory map yeah here it's a file get that guys right there's a labyrinth ball through there I used to get that but I just don't get it anymore yeah I don't bother anymore because it wastes too much time and that labyrinth's quite difficult to do right make sure you got ammo ready on whatever weapon you're equipping here so you'll quickly shoot this out there you go quickly shoot it out it may take a few shots like it did for me then I'm sure I've done it in one shot before maybe I had a more powerful weapon with a bit more oomph to it right once he gets up that was close mate you're right Ethan yeah you got a vivanite there well yellow quartz actually yeah shoot that down and you got a goat go 18 there we go and you got a rusted scrap metal scrap right and we've almost almost done the factory guys almost done it so we there's going to be chemical uh, chemical fluid grab next yeah we're going to make your way across the pipes careful you don't fall off here i've heard it's a long way down it's one of the bottomless pits it's where the mold originated from now i don't know what the hole's for through here and yeah chemical fluid it's just on your right here i remember this one it's in the little basket it's turned over there we go chemical fluid you're mine right up the lift and then um, shotgun next explosive round times two key mold shotgun oh and a juke nice now for the old village oh here we are at the stop at the 29th floor um, baby swear explosive rounds yep key molds yes please and shotgun rounds in here so make sure you got all them items right back into the main part of the factory now right what I normally do here I call um, big guy I call a big guy up the Duke up to our level and while we're waiting for him I just go and grab a little bit of loot in the area you know some shotgun shells and a piece of treasure right so we pulled that we're waiting for the duke to come join us now so let's just drop down here on this pipe it's like a little secret area this place we got a shotgun shells right here whoa there they are thank you down the zip line and uh, straight ahead of you once you land is your yellow quartz there you go grab that sells to 10,000 I believe and uh, right we need to head back down now and uh, mold the key mold Heinzen vs key let's just see what time I'm on as well what time could I possibly be on welcome welcome right Duke what time am I on your shirt 221 yikes we've got to get a move on mate 221 we've got two four boss fights left 40 minutes it's gonna be really close I mean, pretty, pretty close. Not like I so, say, if you don't do speed on it, don't worry because, um, it's yeah, because I, I think, yeah, we like I say, you can do, we do speed run on all the other parts, but um, what I meant, yeah, the files as well. If you, if you miss a few files, I'm gonna try and uh, collect all the files on my knife only. Oh yeah, so here, guys. Yeah, be ready for your explosive. Look at that, die straight away. That was point blank. Oh, I, you know what I need to do at Duke? I need to um, heal. That's what I've got to do. Right, reload. Gonna be some more of them here. Damn, that was a good shot. <laughs> that was a good shot, right? Right, loot his heart. Right, what I'm gonna do while this is um, molding it, we're going to lob the key mold on there. While it's molding the key mold, we're going to come up here and um, just get the upgrade for the magnum. There's a gunpowder here on the left. Press that switch. Come through here, guys. Um, is there a. There may be a file in there. I can't remember. No, there isn't. Um, you've got lockpick there. Flashbangs times two. Switch your rocket launcher. Make sure you're re re ready. Handgun bullets. Yeah, it's going to be one of these guys. And he was no more. So loot his heart from him. 
and grab the mangan uh mangan the magnum upgrade wow the mangan that's a new one the magnum upgrade where's it gone there it is right that's the magnum upgraded guys sweet we do a bit more damage now right so we're going to get our key mold and um we're just going to go and get the last part of the mechanical shaft because that sells the shitloads that weapon um that so grab the Heinz Burst key which we just molded with our 3D printer. Yeah, they come at these steps. And um, there we go, Heinzenberg's door. Use this key on them. Yeah, so just quickly kill the enemies near loot the area, then we're gonna head back up to the Duke and up to the boss. There's four of these guys near by the way. So yeah, just be ready for four. Oh look, see, because he caught his helmet a little bit, if he catches his helmet, so do all his crap, some rusty scrap in here. Uh, you've got some gunpowder, I think. Right, and there's a metal shaft. There we go, and if you combine that, that's the last combinable treasure. There we go, that sells for loads, like 50,000 or something. Right, we're good to go. What is it, bro? You can drink that later when I come down. Yes, because it's really messy. Yeah, so just heading back to Jeep now, but we're going to find some armoured enemies along here. And um, yeah, these guys, you can't kill them. Well, you can kill them. And they actually sell for a lot. Like, if you do that, and then, yeah, if you shoot them with two explosive rounds, there you go, and then finish them off with a shotgun. Yes, I am getting hit quite a bit here. Yeah, they set them, their bits sell for quite a lot. You can't kill them knife only, so you may want to kill them now while you can. Yeah, so two explosive rounds, guys, and then finish them off with a shotgun. Yes, another one up here. So remember, like I said, two explosive rounds. That's one. And finish them off with a shotgun. Obviously, try and hit the weak point the best you can. Yeah, so two explosive, two shotgun, and that'll be them dead. Right, and I did mess up a bit on that first one. I know I messed up quite a bit. I wasn't expecting what happened. Right, let's um, sell some stuff quickly. And we're head to boss. Right, sell, sell, sell. Yes, basically selling all these crystals and treasures. Heinzenberg's armor. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. That's about all we're selling, guys. Now, this is right, and let's just buy that. There we go. We've got all the recipes. It's a, there's no trophy for this, by the way, for eating everything in the Duke's kitchen. Yes, yeah, no trophy for it. Hey, draw on your pick uh, picture. Picture. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. There's no trophy for this. Apologies for the wait. Here's right. Your yeah, we're just under one million, but don't worry. There's still a few things to get yet, which we sell for quite a bit. Right, Duke. Let's make a save, mate, and go to the boss. 225, we've got this. We've got this. Right, where are we? Yes. I'm gonna get, yeah. Three more files to get before we take control of another character. Right, so this boss, we're gonna be using the flashbangs. So switch to your flashbangs, guys. Right, Heinzenberg's key. Yeah, switch to your flashbangs. We're going to be using them next. And in here, just a file that I want to grab. Just a file. And there we go. Yes, grab that file, guys. And let's go and do it. Yeah, so we're going to use some Magnum and the grenade launcher. Basically, the grenade launcher on this, it like disorientates him. It like sends him running into a different direction. The flashbang. It's actually really good. Just wait for him to sort of we cover the initial cutscene and see what it does see it sort of confuses him and then switch to your magnum normally two two magnum shots and two flashbangs to kill him yeah, I may need to do one more magnum shot oh shit yeah one more magnum and he'll be dead now he's dead now stay down. Yeah, make sure you got the treasure from him, of course. Yeah, so um, 
Yeah, a few flashbangs and a few magnum shots to sweet point. We'll finish him off for good. Oh yeah, chemical food in there, I'm not going to grab it. Um, file, file here guys. Yep, and a cigar, I just grab a cigar. Come through here, this is the 19th. Go through here. Come through here, you got a herb. Um, chem fluid, metal scrap, shotgun shells in the drawer, and there he is, 19th go, it's one more, which will get us Chris as the next character we play us. Right, that's, um, I've normally got more explosive rounds by this point, um, it doesn't matter too much, but um, in here, these crates always have the same, that one's always got a rusted scrap, and this one here, has always got a metal scrap. Well, we're all uh, reloaded, ready. Right, let's pull that switch. Right, we're about there, guys. Through here and through this door. A little cutscene when you go through here. So I thought my head headphones came out of the TV because I'm not the wire. Right, so through this crawl space. And um, remove this. Heinzenberg, it's crazy how fast he dies on um, on Cashel compared to uh, Village of Shadows, it's mad. Right, after Chris, uh, loot the laptop. Right, uh, I'll make. I guess I'll make a safe. What time are we at? Two twenty-nine. We've got this. Right, interact with the tank. So remember, get that file from the laptop. Very important. That should be file number forty-one. It should have forty-one I'm files now. Out. Right, once to boil the tank. Through here, yeah, Chris. He can build tanks. Did you know that? I never knew that one. He's a man of many talents. He can fly planes. Fly, make, create tanks. He's a master of any weapon, even combat weapons. Crazy, just happened, just out of pure luck. Chris Redfield <laughs> knows how to build a tank. Yeah, so this boss just goes way off the spectrum. So, so far I've been going, use some theme, horror theme, right? And um, we've had what, werewolves, lichens, uh, vampires, possessed dolls. Um, that mutant baby, whatever it was, I need to destroy this. You got this sort of Frankenstein like sold out monster thing. But here we've got a bloody Transformer. No idea what's going on. Transformer. Really? Megatron. Right, so just keep shooting him for this weak point. And that's it. And you can block, you can hold L1 to block. And on Cashel, I mean, it's, this is different on Village of, Sh of Shadows. But on Cashel. Just keep shooting him, and when he summons them um, barriers, keep shooting that weak point on his head that's poking out to make him drop them. Yeah, keep shooting his weak points, and whenever your rocket comes online, use it. This isn't the same village of shadows. Village of shadows, you have to be sort of strategic in when you use it. But casual, you can afford to just keep spamming it as soon as it becomes available. Right, so just keep hitting his weak points, guys. And it also knocks him out of the way as well. It's another weak point. There you go. Once you've smashed so many, it should trigger the next phase of the fight. Here we go. So once you get to the next phase of the fight, you know because he'll sort of do this and he'll sort of start going in all electrical. Um, make sure you don't fire a rocket because you need to save it. Because if you fire a rocket, you have to wait for it to finish reloading during this bit here. Because it seems to me you have to use a rocket, so just spam a rocket straight away as soon as you can. There you go, and that should end that sequence. Right in here, he dies. He normally dies in um, like two, one magnum shot and two explosive rounds on this next bit. That's how quick he dies. What we can do, you can quickly loot the area first for some shotgun shells and some uh, explosive rounds that I like to get. So quickly just grab all this loot, it's behind all these metal containers, the uh, metal walls, the containers, sniper rifle, ammo, and explosive rounds. So make sure you've got explosive rounds ready guys. And um, I'm going to shoot him with them first to sort of stun him. Shoot him in his head. 
and then magnum shot to his head and then one more explosive round and that will finish him off I say make sure it hits him in the head so really easy two explosive rounds and a magnum literally so easy right so um, he's going to knock out he's going to die here now in a second and then uh, we'll get the crystal from him uh, the crystal Heisenberg and we'll take control of somebody else I'm on about just over 2 hours 30 so I've only got to do crystal section and then um, kill the end boss so um, yeah we've got, we've got time we should probably do it in about 20 minutes I think crystal section is quite quick on casual it's a lot longer on village of shadows just because of this you have to make time but yeah, that's it. You grab a tank, Ethan. Thank God, Chris built his tank for us. Who needs Barry Burton when we got Chris built? Right, that's it. Yeah, that's Eisenberg over Megatron. Megatron is no more. Moldatron is gone. Right, so um, you get the crystal automatically, and. Uh, yeah, you get to walk around for a moment. There we go, Crystal Heisenberg, Iron Giant down. Oh, phone calls, phone's ringing. Misses. Alpha. Alpha team. Right, that's Heisenberg's factory done, guys. Um, take control of somebody else now. This is so easy on, um, on Casual, so easy controlling this other uh, Chris Redfield. You can literally, on cash, on a uh, village shadow, you have to sort of kill everyone, so it's too difficult. But yeah, on casual, you just, run, you just plow straight through them. Damage isn't really a problem. Right, so um, we found out, we just found out a true story about why it really happened. Yeah, more details could have helped the situation, I think. But um, they had to mislead us, didn't they, all them yeah, so all we have left to collect when we're eating, what you collect is, uh, yeah, you see Chris's inventory is all different. What you collect is Chris, and you should get Mapmatician now as well, guys. As long as you've visited every area. There we go, Mapmatician. So yeah, you should get that trophy now, guys. That's another one, don't worry if you don't get it here, because I'll try and get it for us on um, Knife Only or Village of Shadows. So just lock when you go past these guys. And your grenades, by the way, try and save them for the end boss and they'll go down quicker. Yeah, so your hand grenades, save them for the boss at the end. You can use flash grenades, but hand grenades save them for the boss. So there's some ammo here, tons of ammo. Just going to grab all that. You see some flash grenades there. And uh, come for it. You remember where we are now? We're in the village. Looks like Chris had the last part of the village to... Um, Explore for us and don't cover. Let's go. This red field. And uh, Lobo. Lobo looks like more combat character or something. Right, so um, up here, there's more ammo on there, but we're just going to leave that one. Oh shit, wrong, yeah, wrong way. So um, through here, yeah, you have to go through this door. There's going to be two Lycans here. You can kill them, or you can just lock and go past they die so quick on cash all these guys with this dragoon honestly they die so fast you wait till you get a village on shadows they die they take so much longer to die right so what you can do here you can get a flashbang ready and uh, once the armor oh no yeah try and block when the armor guy drops down get ready throw your flash there we go and then get past yeah, once your armor guy drops down, knob the flash. It's got quite a big radius on it, look at that. And once you get down here, it despawns them all. Right, so we've got to use that laser finder now. You press down on the D-pad. There we go. you got to use this sort of two, is it two or three times? I forget. Right, and then once you've done it, you need to wait for it to recharge now. And while it's recharging, we're going to loot the ammo behind the red chimney house. Yeah, loot this ammo here. There we go. It's mainly it's mainly the um, flashbangs, uh, hand grenades we need. Sorry. Oh, look at all these! Right. Yeah, just make your way past them now. Make sure you reload it. And we're just basically waiting for it to recharge. Any minute now. There we go. Once it's recharged, again at the vines, 
Once it blows up, it will despawn all the enemies and spawn a new lot. There we go. So it kills them all. Right. One more time, guys. We've got to do that. More ammo here to collect. Right. So just got to wait one more time for it to reload. And yeah, you got the armoured guys coming now. And I guess you can lobby flash now if you want. You just want to give yourself a bit more time. Wait for most of the enemies to spawn that are going to. And there you go. Leave more stun for a second. Yeah, the armoured guys. Obviously, flash don't seem to work on them if their helmets are not busted. Seems to be like some sort of guard. Well, that's pretty unlucky. I'll get it this time. And there we go, guys. So once you've done it three times, that'll destroy it. There we go. And um, we can move on forward. So make your way down into this cave. And uh, there's a bit of loot at the bottom here. You know where loot is because there's a big green flare burning. Right, and the boss is in here. So we're going to quickly get rid of him. Yeah, so I've got some flash grenades ready. Uh, sorry, hand grenades ready. Right, so what I do, as soon as he drops down, I just bam him with hand grenades. Um, eventually a laser comes online, you can use that, but you can normally kill him before if you just spam the hand grenades and shoot him. When you shoot him, try shooting him in his weak point. It's tricky if you don't sort of stagger him. So there he goes, going to lob these now. I'd say try and lob him behind him. He takes more damage from his weak point. Yeah, you just don't quite get much time to get behind him if you don't stagger him. There you go, another one. You can wait for him to recover before you lob it. Have a better effect on him then. There you go, another one. And I've still got more, so I've still got more hand grenades. And once you stagger him, yeah, like that, you can just go smash him in his back with a dragoon. Yeah, in his weak point. Yeah, once you knock him down, keep doing that. And uh, he's probably going to be dead in a minute, actually. No, he's still going. Good. I'll signal with the locator. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can sort of stun once you knock him down, and once you stagger him for the first time, you get behind him. You sort of stun lock him, and by the time he stands up again, you've dealt enough, you've dealt enough damage that he sort of just staggers him again. Stay above ground. All right, so um, it let me go through them. I don't know why. Normally, you have to wait for them vines to and like disintegrate, but it let me go through them. Right, the last go is going to be here, guys, and the last sort of um, six files. Am I going the right way? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Yeah, for a minute I thought I was going the wrong, the wrong way. So I don't remember that cave being that long. Right, the mega, my whatever, and uh, yeah, the root of the matter. Yeah, plan forty two is going to be here. Right, so there's a goat there, guys. Last goat. There we go. You should have got a heretic. If you didn't get heretic, then obviously you missed a goat somewhere. There wasn't time. Yeah, right. Let's go and get these last files. Should be six more files that we need. And um, because the game pauses when you're in file menu, what I do if a trophy pops here, I just go through my file tab and just show you what I've got. So if you are missing some, you can check it for mine, and um, you should be able to tell. Because it's sort of all, it should all be in the same order. Right. So you need to make sure you open these to make sure they register. Yeah, make sure you open these guys. There we go, number three, number four. There we go, uh, note five, there we go, one more. And it's just a little note on here, that book. That should be a book room, worm, yes, we've got them all. All right, so let me just, oh, we can't, I can't show you this, Chris. Right, shoot the padlock off and rescue the damsel. Right, skip that. Yes, right guys, um, Chris Redfield, member of STARS, STARS Alpha Team. Oh my god, I'm alive. Ethan, you made it. He's alive. You never, I'm, I wonder if he survives at the end of the game. You never know. I mean, he survived so much, I'd never say never with Ethan Winters. Never say never. Poor God. Right, that's it. Just one more boss left, guys. Let's see. Um, uh, 
sell some things to the Duke, then we'll see what time we're on. And um, yeah. Yeah, so um, when we complete a game, um, when we go to knife only, we'll do not spend all your CP and your money, because like I say, you want your money to, so you can upgrade all the weapons, that's why you need it all at once, so don't just buy bits. But what we'll be doing with CP, we'll be buying infinite ammo for the grenade launcher, and um, then we'll get the stake at the start of Village of Shadows. Right, the Duke. Right, first we'll just grab these loot. You got some loot here, and you got some here. Mainly just a shotgun, the explosive rounds we wanted from there. Right, Mr. Duke. Is more now than ever right, um, yeah. So, sell that, sell that, sell that. Um, I've crafted, I've crafted all the recipes, so I can sell all my meat and stuff now. Yeah, that's how much meat extra you'll have if you've got everything. And I think I did leave some meat, actually. Yeah, I think I left some. Right, um, I'm going to sell the handgun now as well. Yeah, sell the handgun now as well, guys. Yeah, going to sell the handgun. You don't need it no more. Yep. Um, yeah, so M1911. Going to sell that. And I'll sell the pipe bombs and the mines. Yeah, so we've got 1.13. That's what we've ended up with. Right, I've done all the recipes. Please. Right, we can actually do a few. Can actually do a few trophies now as well. Um, right, so um, this is what we've got, guys. Yes. So, um, yeah, basically the last boss. Sometimes she'll give you ammo if you don't have any, but she will not give you magnum or grenade ammo. But she will give you like pistol and shotgun. But if you've got handgun, she'll give you handgun ammo. But if you've got only the shotgun out of and not a pistol, then you'll get shotgun ammo from her. That's why I sell the pistol here, so we get shotgun ammo from her if we need it. Right, um, let's just make a save, show a timer at. Yeah, 2.41, easy, I've got 20 minutes left. I've made good time, actually. Right, so um, you may want to upgrade your weapons here, just so you can actually purchase infant ammo for them later. So obviously, make sure you make a save first. Yes, and then what you can do, just craft each of these items, because you have to actually craft 11 items for a trophy. Um, but you don't get the other recipes till later. So we're gonna craft one of each, there you go, one of each. There you go, and then what we'll do later, we'll just reload that checkpoint, that um, save we just did, and you'll get all that ammo back, but it'll still be registered that you did craft them. Right, and um, do you have sufficient let's weapons upgrade all the weapons that we have now. What I'm gonna do now, just fully upgrade some of the weapons we have, um, because you have to fully upgrade some weapons to unlock the infant ammo for purchase for them. So go and do the wolf spain first, because that's the most expensive. So make sure you got all the upgrades attached to it, the attachments, sorry. So make sure it's got all the attachments attached and then we're going to upgrade it fully. Yeah, this costs about uh, nine, uh, I think it's about nine, um, 950,000 to upgrade this fully. So it will take most of the money. That's a great, that's great that we get 1.1 million. Uh, the most you can get in the game, I think it's about 1.8 I've had at one point. That's doing almost 100% everything. Yes. And yes. Right, so that's the Magnum fully upgraded. Remember, it needs all attachments attached as well. Right, so just going to restart, guys. And that'll put us back at that last safe we did. And yes, there we go. Back at that safe. Right, and then let's do the other weapons now. So, um, are we going to do a Lemmy? We'll do that. So I try and do it one at a time. So let me know. Um, so get all the attachments for it. High capacity. High capa High capacity, Mac. I'll get it out in the end. Um, so make sure. Yes, it's got all the attachments. So fully upgrade this. These weapons you get early in the game are really cheap. I mean, this one probably costs like fifty thousand to max it fully. It's not a lot. And the grenade launcher obviously doesn't cost anything because it's already sort of maxed out. Shame we don't get like acid rounds and stuff like that, and flame rounds, like on um, you know remake the other remakes. Right, so that's le um, Lemmy fully done. Let's do um, the M19 next. So I'm just going to buy that again. Probably shouldn't have sold it. Um, right, equip that. Yes. Okay, so that's the M19. Let's do that one next. 
what we'll do, just like we did before, we'll just reload the, reload the save guys to get all this money back. Yeah, because we need to build all our power money, because you need 2.1 million to do the stake. And that's why I don't want to spend it all at once. I'm, I, it's fine spending it now, because we're going to be reloading checkpoint again, all that money back. But, yeah, we need two, about 2.1 million for the stake. And that's, yeah, that's later. That's basically Village of Shadows. And when you complete a game, load more weapons unlock for you to buy and upgrade and stuff. So that's the M1911 done. Let's do um, let's do that shotgun now that I've got on me. Um, so W870. There we go. I think that's the last attachment for it. Yeah, let's do that one now. And then uh, then I've done every weapon that I've owned. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this one costs a little bit more. But after this, I've just got that, um, the first, the default shotgun you get, and the sniper rifle. And then we've done every single thing that's been upgraded, that we can upgrade at the moment. You still got to do a stake, um, but that will come at the end of the game. Right, that's that. Let's just try and do a shotgun before we got reloaded. It'd be great if I don't have to reload anymore. But I've got reloaded once, got my money back anyway. Um, right, um, yeah, M18. Let's do that next. And where's the attachment for it? Oh, it's a head trigger, that's it. So M18, gunsmithy. Where is it? There we go. Only one attachment, it's lame. I think the uh, rifle. No, I don't think I've got enough to do the rifle, so I'm just going to reload checkpoint. I'm not even going to try, it's going to be a waste of time. Right, that's the um, shotgun done. Right, I'm just going to reload, guys. Do a uh, sniper rifle, last one, and then I'll reload and um, just get everything back. Right, let's do the rifle, mate. Um, F2, where are you? There you go. Two attachments to buy for this. And. Yep, F2 rifle. F2 rifle again. Don't worry about them other weapons like the V, what is it, V61. So you, can't, you can't buy all the attachments for you anyway. There's only so many available. The rest of the attachments come available in New Game Plus, along with some extra weapons, like I say. So this last one, this one's got tons of upgrades. I mean, every path has got like six. Yeah, this it's just... Modification can be done in just a moment. I was going to say the rifle is so slow when it comes far in, but I guess with this, the rate of fire being improved, it's probably a lot better. I might actually just fire it, actually. Once, just before I reload, I'm going to fire this, see how much quicker it is. Um, I didn't utilise it, but when you're... Upgrade the ammo, you actually get full ammo from that as well. I mean, but I don't really utilize it. Let me just, um, how much? Oh no, how much quicker is that? Ah, uh, it's still a bit slow. Right, we start, guys, get everything back, and let's go and do the boss. So we're back on 2 hours 41. We've upgraded everything once, had it saved in the menu. Right, so, um, yeah, like I say, um, what have we got? So we'll use Magnum on it first, and then we'll use Explosive Rounds, and then we'll switch to the Shotgun. And with the flashbangs, by the way, there's a phase of a battle where she's like enters like a dark realm. Uh, well, she basically, well, it's not a dark realm, she just makes the area go pitch black. When she does that, if you use a flashbang, it knocks her out of it straight away. So, yeah, save your flashbangs for that, guys. Right, so um, Magnum. And don't shoot her when she's crystallized. I'm not sure exactly when you when it's best to shoot her and when not. You know, because like a lot of Resident Evil bosses, there's like a, a period where they're immune, but it's hard to tell. So, but if, she, if she's crystallizing, I don't shoot her like this. Don't shoot her when she's like that. So she probably doesn't take any damage. Obviously, just make sure you're blocking when it looks like she's going to attack. Like now, she's going to attack. She missed anyway. Remember, she completely misses you. She normally attacks again straight after, but if they, but if she uh, hits you, she normally won't attack for five to ten seconds. Right, where, yeah, when she shoots the orbs, just shoot her body. When she shoots the orbs, yeah, just shoot her, and eventually, yeah, she'll stop him. Yeah, with them orbs, you can either shoot the orbs or you can just damage her instead. On casual, then we can actually. Village of Shadows may be difficult to deal with, damaging time. Well, when that big ball comes, just shoot her. Explosive rounds are good for this because it damages her and it destroys the uh, orb. 
with the damage to her. Doesn't. Oh, what a waste. Oh, no, oh, I just got her. Oh, that's funny. So, what normally happens, that was going to be her dark phase. But when I when I hit her, just before she went into it, it actually stopped it. I've not actually done that before. Normally what I do when it goes dark, I switch the flashbangs and hit her with a flashbang once she appears. And this will happen afterwards, that, like, she'll summon the sun. And um, you have to hide from that. Here's the shotgun shells, which I was telling you about. Basically, when she summons the orbs in the sky, that's when she spawns ammo for you. Yeah, so just keep blocking, guys. This is for your orbs again. So I normally just wait for it to stop. And then... There we go, shoot it. So I'm switching to shotgun now. I've used all my good ammo. So I'm going to spam a shotgun now. And if you do get low, yes, she will... Drop hammer for you when she spawns the orbs. It's not it's not really difficult. If you still got all your full heals, remember you can heal four times if you want to. Right. Okay. She hit me. And once you dealt enough damage. This will happen. Yeah, so just like before, you want to try and shoot her sort of in, in the body, the, the biggest point of your mass, because she'll take more off the impact then. Right, so um I'll just switch to Magnum. You, whatever weapon you use here, you get into the ammo. Yeah, so you're supposed to shoot the orb there. Yeah. But, um, oh, it's messing about switching weapons. So, just wait for her to get close. And then shoot her. Yeah, it seems you have to shoot her when she's about to attack you on this. If you just keep shooting and nothing will happen. It's when she's about to attack, like that. So, and that's it, guys. Game KO'd. Game finished. Wow. Wow, we did it. What was the time, I wonder? 2 hours 48, do you reckon? It's got to be about 2.48 shortly. Father's story is now done. But is it? Wow, that's awesome, mate. Is it, though? What have he survived? We never know. We may find out in number 9. Right. 2.45, not bad. I did beat my time from before. And I thought I was going to do worse. So, 2.45, I've got Dash and Dad. Don't trust that snake oil. That's for doing it without healing. Dash and Dad doing it in under three hours. Great Dad. I think that's for completing casual difficulty. And looks like that's it. We'll get all the other difficulty trophies when we do Village of Shadows, by the way. Right, well, I've unlocked all this now. Extra content shop, concept art, figures and challenges. And yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. New movies added. Yeah, special weapons. WCX. Wow, I got a lot of CP. Didn't expect to get this much. 29,000. So we've completed a lot of challenges here, guys. Yeah, so these are all the challenges I completed. That's why I got so much slob. I think that's for never moving anything in your inventory. And yes, save. Save your completed data. Never overwrite this, guys. Never overwrite your completed data. Yeah, make sure you save your completed data. Never overwrite it. Right, so let's just, before we just call it a day for that part, let's just have a look at the bonus menu. So, extra content shop. Yeah, so you can buy all this now. Don't just buy anything. Um, I'll just give you a bit of a heads up. You were doing knife on the next playthrough. So, Karen, the Karen bit knife, that's 10,000 CP. You're doing that on the next playthrough. Um, but after that, we're going to need infinite ammo for the grenade launcher, which is um, 80,000 CP. And infinite ammo could also help for the M1851 um, Wolf Spain. Um, we do get a stake eventually when I get to it. That can just help you up to the stake. And it's actually, so a lot of people believe it's more powerful actually. So um, but I'm not too sure on that. I've no, not done any testing, but apparently. Um, but but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we have to buy mercenaries. Yeah, so what I'll do in the next part, I'll just buy what we're going to need to buy in the next part. So right, we're going to buy this. We're going to use this now. And we're going to use that. And um, challenges, yeah, so um, these are all the challenges I did. I I'll show you what challenges I did, guys. So we've got, these are all the main story ones. Yeah, they're all the main story. Um, so crafter, crafting item, crafter menu. Um, Patron, purchase them from Duke. Unlock a simple lock, easy enough. Combine a treasure, yes. We did a lot of that. Hunt, hunt an animal, yes, we would have got that easy. Solve a labyrinth, yeah, goal. We do that at the start of the game. Open every outhouse. 
um, break every window, castle de matress. Um, shoot a soldier hanging from the production line, yes, she did that. Shoot down 15 valuable minerals. Push comes to shove, push an enemy away, trick shot, defeating an enemy with long range from a sniper. A lot of these are tied to trophies as well. Strategist, destroy at least three enemies with one attack. Set fire to Marika in the story. Knock a flaming arrow out of the sky, yeah. That's that big, the Varkalic Alpha? Yeah, that's that um, Alpha werewolf we fought when we came out of the um, uh, Stronghold. That's that's one Stronghold. Strip Miner, remove all the armor from a sword at Panzer. Yes, we did that, remember? We killed two of them. Um, what else did we complete? Lady Killer? Oh, did I? I completed in under 2 minutes 30. Wow. Surprised. Uh, defeat Mutate Heisberg in under 4 minutes. Yeah, that's pretty easy, that one. Um, photo mode, yes, of course. Mathematician, yeah. Cynic, destroy it, go up for warden, yeah. Heretic, gunsmith, yes, yeah, should have done that. Bookworm, don't trust snake oil, dash and dad. Dense dad. Finish your story without crafting any items. Yeah, because I didn't craft anything. Um, if you did, obviously you won't get that. Slob ash without moving anything. They're not really important. Um, I just mentioned the important ones to you, you know, doing it out healing if you can, try and do it in under three hours. Um, and yeah, villager, complete 30 challenges. Yeah, well, that's it, guys, then. So, what I'll probably do in the next bit, we'll do a concept art, or maybe we'll do a concept art at the end of the game by the figures and that. Um, yeah, but that's it, guys. Um, part one of my platinum walkthrough. Like I say, next, we're going to be doing knife only on casual. And let me know in the comments if you want me to, because it's probably going to be a few days till I start recording that. I'm probably going to. Obviously, probably not a collector thing, but I want to show you where everything is on that one as well. Just in case you did miss anything, I want to show you where files are, ghosts, outhouses and windows. Just in case you want to see where they all are while we are doing it knife only. Knife only. And then, yeah, after knife only, it'll be Village of Shadows and then Mercenaries. Mercenaries. But that's the first playthrough, guys. Every playthrough, by the way, will be a similar sort of time. I want to keep it nice and short. I want to try and get this platinum under 10 hours. If I can in this um, series. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.